TikTok, time to rock. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon to everyone who's watching from all over the world. It's your friendly neighborhood philosopher here. And with me, wait, what are you now? Are you, are you God logic or shake logic? I see God logic on the wall. It, 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 it's both, you know, it depends on what mood I'm in. For okay. this one, it's shake logic. For this one, it's shake logic. Matter of fact, I should, I should have changed that actually. Oh yeah, you need multiple, you need multiple signs. Mm -hmm. For this one, how do I change my, my name on there? Man, he can Shake logic. You don't need it. I don't have your name up here. Oh, okay. Whatever. Well, well, hey. they know. Yeah, they know. They know. They so, know. Uh, so have you heard about this, uh, Avery? Have you heard the word? <laughs> <laughs> I heard the word. I heard the word. You know, when, when someone's using a really stupid methodology and you can see how stupid the methodology is, but they can't see how stupid the methodology is because they've been using it all their lives uh, and they've been programmed to use it. Sometimes all you can actually do is just say, okay, I'm going to use this method on you and uh, see, see, what, see what you think of it then. Because here's the thing. Yeah. People have a methodology. Like here's, here's how I get to the truth in these matters. Mm-hmm. If Muslims believe that they have a good methodology, they should have no problem whatsoever with us using the exact same methodology. It should be pretty straightforward. Yeah. Okay, you guys use the methodology too, and you'll agree with us. And actually, we used your same methodology, and uh, we conclude that Muhammad was a devout Christian. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. When we and 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 if and if what we're saying sounds ridiculous to you, if our strategy or our methodology sounds absolutely ridiculous then what does that say about your own position what does that say if you if what we're because we're literally just repeating what you're doing just swapping out names and themes that's it yeah and uh, you could do this in in multiple ways multiple ways we could apply the exact same methodology that they use. So one of the things they do, and this isn't what we're talking about right now, but one of the things that Muslim apologists do, they will go to, and matter of fact, we we debated guys, and this happened over and over and again. You and I had a two-on-two -two debate with a couple of Muslim apologists. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that repeatedly happened, in fact, I think it's the only thing that happened over and over and over again, was them quoting a verse, you see, this proves that Muhammad is a prophet. And we go, okay, re read the next verse. Read the next. Can you read the next verse? No, but the the next verse has been corrupted. What about the verse after that? Oh yeah, the verse that's been corrupted too. What about two verses earlier? No, that's been corrupted. But this verse, that that verse that you're you're going to, that's as good as gold, right? Yeah, that verse is gold. Oh yeah, that one's that one's good. And so it's like this insane level of cherry picking that I mean is beyond anything that anyone else in the world has ever. I mean, atheists cannot compete. Like the, your most rabidly anti Christian atheist cannot compete with these guys when it comes to cherry picking just exactly. i will go to this verse this verse proves islam all the verses that come before it that contradict islam and all the verses that come after it they contradict islam matter of fact even some of the things in the verse that contradict islam all corrupted but this proves this somehow proves islam and what i you know what i the point that i always want to make is if that's your method you could prove anyone is a prophet pick anyone in history and any yep. book in history. And I can go through that entire book, find one sentence and say, oh, look, this supports the, the claim that uh, J Jethro over here is a, is a devout m prophet. Mm -hmm. And so what are you going to do with that? Well, the verses that come before contradict that. And the verses that come before, oh, well, those have all been corrupted. You could use this to prove I can prove you're a prophet like this. I can prove I'm a prophet like this. Anyone could do. And it's just a Muslims. It's just a general rule. If the methodology that you're using could be used to prove anything about anyone, you probably need a new methodology. You just, like, and the fact that Islamic apologetics always comes down to these exact same methods, methods that yeah. you could that anyone could use to prove anything about anyone. anyone. Like, like this is not this is not a this is not a good evidence that you've got the truth on your side. If you're saying, no. "Ha." Here, here, the method that we will use to prove our prophet could be used by anyone to prove that anyone is a prophet. You see? I've done it to so many people, David. I've done it to so many people. I said, okay, you know what? I, 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 I'm done showing you verses in the Quran about the Bible being preserved. I'm done, I'm done with all of that. I'm done asking you to show me evidence. Let me just swap roles with you really quick. I'm going to do, I'm just going to say this. 
I believe in the original Quran, but you don't have it today. You have remnants of it, but what you have is a corrupted version. Uh, Uthman corrupted it when he burned all the Qurans and made whatever he likes. So uh, what would you ask me? What would you say to me if I say, I believe in the original Quran, you don't have it. What, where are you getting this from? Oh, uh, well, you know, don't worry about it. I don't got to show you anything. I don't have to bring you this original so I can point out the differences. Whatever disagrees with the Bible is corrupted. Whatever doesn't agree or whatever, whatever agrees with it is good. Whatever doesn't agree is corrupted. How does that sound to you? Does that sound silly? I've had a few of them actually say yes. That actually does sound ridiculous. I said, that's exactly what you're doing. Thank you for showing you me and the rest of us watching that your position is ridiculous. It's stupid. And stop using it. It's fun. Yeah. It's pretty it's pretty terrible. And again, guys, it's a it's a situation where we may just have to use this same methodology against them. Guys, why do you keep saying he's blurry? What if if there's a sometimes there are bad internet connections? What do you want him to do about it in the middle of a live stream? What? Tell tell me what you want him to do about an internet Slow internet. It just happens. If a bunch of people log on to, to watch shows at the same time, it reduces internet. What do you want him to do about it? What? Tell us. <laughs> Tell us what you think can be done right in the beginning of a live stream if the internet connection is slow. What? What do you want someone to do? It happens. Why are you complaining? Tough. I know, isn't Long it? Time. Yeah, I'm not gonna like, do about it, guys. I'm not gonna no, do I've had time. I've had times when I was like clicking on. It's like it's like one megabit per second, and I'll try to go live and stuff like that. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> look, this guy replying, "Get faster internet." No, you can't do that right now. He could do it, but you can't do that right now. So the, I guess the goal would be stop complaining. <laughs> yes, INS just said the audio is fine. That's what matters. That is correct. Even if you were a blank screen or just a picture, if you can hear him, we're good. All right, stop whining. Uh, whining. <laughs> <laughs> David, what 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 uh what did it for you that prompted you to make this video? Like I'm I'm curious. No, it was uh I actually made it's a shorter version, it's probably probably a little over a little under half half as long but i made this like probably 10 or 10 or 11 years ago you can probably find it on one of the uh, archive channels but it was just called um i believe in muhammad and it was a short version it was it was pretty rapid fire it was just yeah. hey uh, this is what you guys always do and here's here's what i'm going to say in response and i'm going to say muhammad was a devout christian so i played it um, so I, I, I made that video years ago and, uh, I, I don't remember, it came up recently in a live stream where I was saying, Hey, I made this point in the video and I was like, gosh, I should remake that video. Cause I like kind of taking videos that I made 10 years ago when I didn't know what the objection was going to be. Cause I'm just put, you know, I'm just, I'm reading something. I'm like, Oh, this will make a cool video. And then I'll, I'll post a video and then people will the, like the Muslims in the comments will sort of come up with an objection then they'll all start running with that objection i'll think like oh if i would have known that was going to be the objection i would have i would have uh incorporated that into the video and responded to it so you wouldn't even have that that available to you so it's yeah. um yeah so it's kind of a situation where most of my older videos I, I definitely don't want to remake most of them but there were certain ones where i made it i had no idea what the response was going to be and then I i'd like to remake those older videos those classic d wood videos remake some of those old videos, but now I know exactly what their responses are. So you can block them and then force them to come up with new responses. Yeah. And See, so it's, it's funny. you, you did, I believe in Muhammad. I did. I believe in the Quran. That's the angle that I took. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. I made up a story about, about, you know, Muhammad being originally, you know, not being a prophet, but in a, but a disciple in Arabia. And so yeah. <laughs> it was just, it was just so freaking funny watching you do it man it was like this is this literally it yes yes this is it <laughs> and that's uh keep in mind guys so in my video i said prophet avery just says uh disciple and that's available to you you could believe it was corrupted in either way you could believe that he yeah. was uh he was a prophet sent to the arabs to preach christianity or you could believe he's just a disciple to the arabs um sent and, and he he came there 
in in order to obey the great commission commission to make disciples of all nations and so he was like oh i'll go to the i'll go to uh the arabs and yeah. so you could argue you could argue it anyway what what do you call the what do you call the group the original quran original only quran only christians original quran only christians awesome 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 well should we uh should we jump into some passages yeah, I would love to, man. Uh, if you have some off the top of your dome, you go ahead. I got some of them right now. I'm ready to give. Uh, I, I love it. Yeah, I got some. Matter of fact, let's. Uh, I brought this up in the video, but we could take a closer look at it. We can see exactly how this process of uh, seeing that there was some original uncorrupted layer of. Christian apologetics and Christian theology that was later corrupted. So let's check out Surah 4, verse 171 here. Yes. All right. So let me just go ahead and read this, and uh, we could both point out some of the interesting features of this. And then, and then we'll see if we can spot the parts that have been corrupted. All right, here we go. O people of the book, commit no excesses in your religion. Nor say of God aught but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was, who they put in parentheses, no more than an apostle of God. Uh, uh, now, now, now think about this. Christ yeah. Jesus, the son of Mary, was an apostle of God and his word. Think about that. Sent mm -hmm. by God, sent by God, but he's also the word of God. My goodness. Yes. Hallelujah. We which he bestowed on Mary, and a spirit a, and a spirit proceeding from him. Mm -hmm. So believe in God and his apostles. Say not Trinity, desist, it will be better for you. For God is one God, glory be to him. Far exalted is he about uh, above having a son. To him uh. belong to him belong all things in the heavens and on earth, and enough is God as a disposer of affairs. Now, Avery, I'm looking at this and I see that Jesus mm. is already completely different from everyone else. Oh, yeah. He's special. He's in completely two, special. In two yeah. ways. In two ways right here. His word. So Jesus yeah. is, the, I mean, look at that. When you say sent by God and mm -hmm. he's the word of God, mm -hmm. that's that's the incarnation right there. He's simultaneously, yeah. he's, he's sent and he is the eternal speech of God. Absolutely. And, and and you have this twice. You have a spirit proceeding from Allah. Guys, mm -hmm. everything that Allah creates, he just has to say be and it pops into existence. Right. Allah's word originates from within him. It comes from within. It's not from everything else. Allah creates externally. It just says, hey, be, and the thing pops into existence. With his word, this comes from within Allah. And since there, there can't be a change in Allah, this must mean that Jesus is the word that comes eternally from within Allah. This is the same, this is the same reasoning that Muslims use to argue that the Quran is Allah's eternal speech. If this is Allah speaking, then it must be, he must be speaking from all eternity. Well, if Jesus is his word, then Jesus is Allah's word from all eternity. And a That's spirit. Right. And a spirit proceeding from it. A spirit is something breathed out by Allah. Again, completely different from Allah, uh, from the way Allah creates things. This comes That's from within right. Allah, and it's an eternal proceeding. Interesting stuff. All right, what do you see here? What do you see here, Avery? Well, what I see, uh, David, is remnants of the original Quran. Uh, I, I see where it says that he's the word of Allah who was sent by Allah and a spirit proceeding from him. That agrees with the Bible uh, and, and, and is in line with the gospel and, and the prophets. So this, this section right here so far, other than the, uh, what they try to add in parentheses there, this is perfectly preserved and in line with the Bible. I'm looking at the original Quran right here, remnants of it at least, mm -hmm. so far. And it's just amazing to me that you can look through here and see the original parts but you can also mm -hmm. see exactly, exactly the parts that Uthman tossed in there. Exactly. I mean, he's just like, oh, 
he's like, oh, guys, this will give this will give people the idea that Christianity is true. We have to cover this up. So let's add this in here and let's add that right. in there. Oh, yeah. So clear. Right. Right. Where he talks about goes down and starts saying, uh, uh, say not say not three. That's not Trinity. It says say not three. Um, I, 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 I don't mind this because it's saying say not three gods. So I agree with this. The Bible says do not. There's only one God. Uh, but specifically here where he says um, that that he is above having a son, that has Uthman written all over it. It's Uthman written all over it, David. Mm -hmm. You know, that he is, he is above having a son. There's no way uh, Muhammad said, and no, it, nor did it say this in the original Quran. This is the corrupted part right here. Absolutely. So, guys, this is how you could this is how you do it when you're reading the Quran. You have to spot the original. The original, the original Christian parts, and then the later corruptions. So just read this again, ladies and gentlemen, and, and now you know how to read it. Oh, people of the book. See, the Quran honors the people of the book as the people having right. the truth. We have the truth. Mm -hmm. Commit no excesses in your religion. That's true. Don't do it. Stick with what, stick with what was revealed. Mm -hmm. Nor say of God anything but the truth. Amen. Just speak the mm -hmm. truth. Christ Jesus, son of Mary was an apostle of God, true, he was sent, and his word, so he's different from everyone else who's sent, which mm -hmm. he bestowed on Mary, and a spirit proceeding from him. So believe in God and his apostles. Jesus is one of those apostles, so you're supposed, you're supposed to believe in Jesus, especially that he is the word. And any yeah. Christian knows what that means. In the beginning was oh, the yeah. word, the word was with God and the word was God. We know what that this means. This verse clearly teaches the deity of Christ here. Not, uh -huh. not just the deity, but also the humanity of Christ and him being sent and born through Mary. We see the incarnation right here. Beautiful. We've got the incarnation right here. Uthman knows that. Uthman knows that this verse was used to win many people to Christ. So what did he have to do? He had to corrupt it. So then he inserts it in there. Say not three. Say not three. Even then, we don't have to have a problem with that because when you look at the three, when you look at the three in oh. chapter five, then mm -hmm. it's a trinity made up of Allah, Jesus, and Mary, who are three separate beings. And yes, Clearly we reject not. that. We reject that claim that that is that there. We're talking about three gods here. So, exactly. absolutely, we agree with we agree with this part. But you can see Uthman trying to. Put some anti anti Christian. Try to, try to sneak it in there, isn't he? He, he think he's slick, David. Yeah, I know because he knows he knew he knew that Trinitarian belief was spreading throughout Arabia thanks to the powerful Christian preachings of Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Wow. Amazing. So desist. It will be better for you. For God is one God. Glory be to him, far exalted is he above having a son. So he has to toss all this stuff in here. My goodness. But how how much more obvious could he make it? Yeah, it's, My this goodness. is the corruption is so clear, man. Uh, any three year old can see it. Any six or nine year old can see it. Um, it's, it's pretty clear to me, man. It's pretty, pretty, pretty clear. So, guys, think about what we have here. Think about what we have. Jesus, Jesus is the word of Allah. Muhammad mm -hmm. is not the word of Allah. Mm -hmm. Abraham is not the word of Allah. Jesus is the word. Why is Jesus different? Why is Jesus Allah's eternal speech when Allah's speech is eternal? Why? Because this is supporting the deity of Christ, corrupted by Uthman. All right. Exactly. Let's check out some more passages here. Oh, nice. 345. Lots of stuff in here. We mm. want to get to 340, 345, 347, 349. But look at 345 here. And remember when the angels said, Oh, Mary, lo, Allah giveth thee glad tidings of a word from him. Up oh, there you have it again. He's the yeah. one whose name is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, illustrious in the world and illustrious in the world and the Ooh. hereafter. <laughs> and one of those brought near unto Allah. Yes. After See, there's something about there's something about reading and listening to the original Quran before its corruption, like mm -hmm. listening to the authentic 
parts of the original Quran, it really does something to my soul, man. It really like it, it, it just give me goosebumps, you know. Wow, Alhamdulillah, Yeshua, that is that's really good. Wow. Yeah. So what do we have here? So <laughs> here's the thing where <laughs> the Messiah, the Messiah, is mm -hmm. the Son of God. <laughs> Right, yeah, and yeah. you see, you see this in the Gospels. You see it over and over again that uh, when the apostles are talking, they'll say, "Hey, you're you're the Christ, the Son, the Son of God." Right. Yeah. The, the, the idea was connected for them. Even at Jesus' trial, is it, "Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One?" They understood who the Messiah is. In the in the uh, the corrupted Uthmanic version of the Quran that we have now. Can we tell who, who, the, who the Messiah is? Yes, we can tell who the Messiah is. How we Even in this corrupt Um, The way that I can do that, even in this corrupted version, right? Because mm -hmm. you're asking, how can we tell who the Messiah is? Right? That's your question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, the original Quran here, the verse says, whose name is the Messiah Jesus, son of Mary. Right? I mean, it's, mm -hmm. that's what yep. it says. Wait, Jesus the Word? Jesus the Word of Allah is also the Messiah? He is also the Messiah. And the Spirit who proceeds from Allah is also the Messiah? According it's to the, also the That's exactly right. Hey, on the side note, this issue of Messiah, wasn't that the discussion you had with Sheikh Uthman a while back? That is exactly. That I is didn't exactly quite. Right. I didn't. I didn't quite grasp all of it, but I saw some clips. It looked like he was saying that other people are the Messiah too in Islam. Well, yeah, yeah just to make sure. That you're, just to make sure you're clear, David. That's verbatim what he said, and he stood ten down, ten toes down on that. Even after he said that there are other prop, all the prophets in Islam are messiahs, all of them. Then we should probably be seeing that all over the place because we see it with Jesus. At least one. Uh huh. At least one. Even in the top, I mean, even in the hadith, we should like we should see. There's thousands. Oh, of I, hey, I remember that he brought you a hadith, right? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why they call it started calling him Sheikh Ibn Footnote, right? Because he came yeah, to you. Exactly. He brought a hadith. Exactly. It was mistranslated, <laughs> and it was a it was a comment. It was a. Yeah, it was a footnote. It was a footnote, but he tried to pass that off to you as if the hadith agrees with him. It was all deception, exactly. wild stuff. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so what do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? The angel said, O Mary, lo, Allah giveth thee glad tidings of a word from him, once again the word, whose name is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Ooh. Mary. Jesus Indeed. is the Messiah. But we know who the Messiah is. See, it's like, it's interesting because it says word, word of Allah. So Jesus is Allah's word in 4171. Mm -hmm. And your average Muslim has no clue what that means because it's been corrupted for him. And then it identifies him as the Messiah right here. And once again, your average Muslim has no clue what that means because it's been corrupted. The, the meaning has been corrupted for him. Mm -hmm. But we know who the Messiah, the word of God is. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's right. Interesting. That's right. It's beautiful, right. man. Like it I said, is. when you read the original Quran and you hear these verses, the guys, original Quran, the original, not the hey, corrupted hey, dude, you got to do it, man. <laughs> you have to do it. <laughs> you absolutely have to do it, man. Okay, you have okay. to make the original <laughs> Christian Quran. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, do. Yeah. Got to do it, man. Put it, put it on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, and sell it up. We found the original. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And all we're doing is taking out all the all the corrupted parts. And then all you the have a nice part. intro, a nice introduction in that book that explains what Uthman did when he uh when he corrupted it. And oh, can actually genius. we can actually prove this from Muslim sources. That is so genius. You gotta have it, man. And then Christians can walk around carrying the original Quran. Muslims pull out their Quran, Christians pull out the original <laughs> uncorrupted Quran. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's All right. Idea. All right. So that's 345, ladies and gentlemen. Check out 347 here. 
So up at the top there, you see what happens. He will speak unto mankind in his cradle and in his manhood, and he is of the righteous. Talking about Jesus there. She said, my Lord, how can I have a child when no mortal hath touched me? He said, so it will be. Allah createth what he will. If he decreeth a thing, he saith unto it, be, and it is. And matter of fact, Avery, you can spot, this is like guaranteed 100% indisputable corruption that oh, we yeah. have in the Quran. Because look at this, look at this, look at this. I mean, guys, this is what you have to be paying for, paying attention for, right? Oh. So Mary is told, hey, you're going to have a son. It's going to be Jesus, the Messiah. Her response, how can I have a, how can I have a child when no one's touched me? In other words, I'm a virgin. It takes mm -hmm. two to tango. Got to have a man mm -hmm. and a woman. Mm -hmm. And here you have the true, uncorrupted response. What are you talking about? Yes, ordinarily, ordinarily you need a man and a woman, but mm -hmm. Allah can create whatever he wants. He's, he's exactly. all powerful. He can do that in a heartbeat. What does that mean? It means that elsewhere in the Quran, where it says, what? Oh, how can Allah have a son when he has no wife? Ugh. That is indisputable proof of corruption because if it's not corruption it's a contradiction and we don't want to we don't want to say that there's a there's a contradiction no that's there's not, not that's a not the result of corruption mm -hmm. yeah yeah there's no contradiction in the original quran and the original quran is consistent it's 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 consistent theme there's no type of way where it's a question if allah can have a son uh because he's he's god almighty right yeah, so the the part that's that he says, how can he have a son when he has no consort? He needs a girlfriend in order to have a son. It takes it two to tangle with Allah for him to have a son. That is astaghfirullah, adibillah. It is a corruption from Uthman. Period. And and think about how they have to actually like corrupt the nature of the Almighty to avoid Christianity. Here, oh, this my. makes sense. What do you mean? Do you see, look? God could create. God can create something out of nothing if He wants to, or He can. He could do. He can. He can create a son from just a woman, or He could create a son from just a. What are you talking about? God can do whatever. God has the power to do these things. Suddenly, we get to Uthman's corrupted version, and whoa! What are you talking about? Allah is this puny little weak thing. He has to rely. He has to rely on straightforward procreation if he wants to do something. He couldn't have a son unless he had a unless he had a big hot wife. Couldn't do it. It's impossible. It's impossible. Wait a minute. So here, Allah can do anything, and elsewhere in the Quran, Allah's totally weak and sad and pathetic. And Avery, you you remember in my video, I was arguing. I didn't spell it out. I didn't explain it. But this is part of how you know. I pointed out that Uthman, the corrupter. Not guys, keep in mind when you think of Uthman, you're thinking of Caliph Uthman, who is a companion of Muhammad. No, this is all rewritten into the Muslim sources because of the corruption of Uthman. The real Uthman was a total pagan. How do That's we know? Right. Well, look what he does. He reduces God from all powerful to a weak little pagan deity. That's right. That's right. There's nothing that he that we find in the authentic sources, nothing that we find that's true. All of that was made up and corrupted. Uh, the parts that talk about Uthman uh, believing in one God, the parts that talk about Uthman believing in an all powerful, non physical deity uh, who doesn't have a shin or uh, physical body parts that, you know, Allah knows best about. Yeah, all, all of that. No, uh, that Uthman is a pagan, he is a heretic. And uh, he needs to be called out, man. Muslims, wake up. Yeah, so uh, look at what we have here, ladies and gentlemen. 347, she said, my Lord, how can I have a child when no mortal has touched me? He said, so it will be. Allah creates what he wills. If he decrees a thing, he only he saith only to it, be, and it is. Allah is all powerful. Hmm. Here, you go to the corrupted parts. No, 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 he's no longer all powerful can't do it and then check this out check this out you want to see it, we could we could spot the corruption avery we can spot the corruption <laughs> look at 349 and will make him a messenger unto the children of israel saying so this is what jesus is going to say lo i come unto you with a sign from your lord lo hmm. i fashioned for you out of clay the likeness of a bird 
and uh, I breathe into it, and it is a bird. Avery, Avery, before mm. we uh before we start looking at the corrupted parts, who do you know, according to the Quran, who fashions something out of clay and breathes mm. into it, and mm. it becomes a living being? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one. And, and think of, think about how insane this part is, this verse is, to Muslims who now believe that Allah is just trying to get Jesus to show that he's a he's, he's an ordinary human being. And so, mm -hmm. and guys, Muslims, I'm dead serious, dead serious about here. A lot of this will be, you know, we're, we're joking and goofing off, dead serious about this. Allah creates by fashioning man from dust or clay, or de depends on which verse you go to. There's a, you get a bunch of different answers, but uh, Allah <laughs> takes clay, mud. So you've got mud, you've got clay, and you've got dust, according to the Quran, that Allah shapes, and then he breathes into it and, it, be it, and it's alive. And so Allah wants Jesus to convince people that he's just a prophet. He's just a man. That's what Allah tries to do. And so Allah's brilliant plan is, hey, I know. I'll have Jesus create in exactly the same way I do in front of everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just going to shape something out of clay and breathe into it. And it's going to live. You see, this will show them that Jesus is just an ordinary human being who creates exactly like Allah does. My goodness, man, my goodness. But look at this. Look at this. It's so clear. It's so clear, guys. Once you know what you're looking for, I will make him a messenger to the children of Israel. Keep in mind, this is the, the incarnation. He's becoming incarnate. He's going to be a messenger to the children of Israel. Lo, I come to you with a sign from your Lord. Lo, I fashion for you out of clay the likeness of a bird, and I breathe into it, and it is a bird. In other words, I create exactly like Allah does. And then Uthman has to insert in here, by Allah's leave. <laughs> I heal him. I heal him who was born blind and the leper, and I raise the dead. By Allah's leave. Got to toss that in there. <laughs> And I announce unto you what you eat and what you store up in your houses. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you exactly what's going on in your house right now, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Lo, herein verily is a portent for you, if you are to be believers. Look at this. So Jesus is omniscient here. He knows exactly what's going on behind the closed doors in your house. He's watching hmm. you. He's watching you right now, according to this. He hmm. creates the exact same way that God creates. He lives the most miraculous life in history. This is exactly the sort of verse in the uncorrupted version, which doesn't have the later corruptions, that people mm. would look at as evidence and proof that Jesus has a divine nature. Amen. Alhamdulillah. That's right. But wow. I, and, and so, guys, Muslims, again, ser seriously think you're right here, right? So, according to you, where did Christians get the idea that Jesus died on the cross? According to your average Muslim, where did Christians get the idea that Jesus died on the cross? Because Allah tricked them into believing that Jesus died on the cross. Where did Christians get the idea that Jesus rose from the dead? Because Allah allowed Jesus to appear to them. And so they concluded that he had risen from the dead. And according to even the Quran, where did Christians get the idea that Jesus is God? Because... He has all these features that make him completely different from everyone else and that are, are associated with God, like cr shaping something out of clay and, and breathing into it and giving it life. So where did Christians get the idea that Jesus is the divine son who died on the cross for sins and rose from the dead? Don't say the Apostle Paul. Don't blame the Council of Nicaea for any of this nonsense. Don't blame Constantine. You sound like idiots when you say that. If you want yeah. to, if, if you actually take the corrupted version of the Quran seriously, it's your God who did all this. Amen. Further, further evidence, Avery, <laughs> that Uthman, who corrupted it, was a pagan. Not just a pagan, but a terrible man, a liar. You know, it's, 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 it's embarrassing. It's sad. Muslims, wake up. We're trying to wake you up with this stream here. Okay. So we're going to spread this word, right, David? We're going to spread this word. Oh, yeah. We're going to make some cross. memes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, guys, we are we are trying to give everyone a pattern of arguing here. You can actually show much, much more easily that Muhammad was a devout 
Christian from the Quran and by arguing that parts are corrupted by a later guy, you could do that way easier than you could argue for Muhammad from the Bible. Mm -hmm. Way easier. And yeah. so when Muslims think, aha, I can argue for Muhammad for the Bible. Oh, great. We can make a, we can make a much stronger case that Muhammad was a Christian. Very easy to do. And you hope <laughs> right. they get the point. You get, uh, you hope they get the point. Uh, so, uh, make him a, but yeah, ser seriously, uh, Muslims, why did your Allah do everything to convince people to believe in Christianity? Mm -hmm. If you didn't want him to take it seriously. Isn't that wild? Yeah, that's insane. You know, I had a, I had a Muslim admit my, a couple of streams ago, but we're talking about the crucifixion. He said, yeah, Allah lied. He said, Allah lied, uh, for a good purpose. Suckers. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> he got you. Open. Oh, <laughs> Allah got you. Got hey. him. Hey, so uh we checked out got him. <laughs> so we checked out we checked out uh Surah 3 verse 45, Surah 3 verse 47, Surah 3 verse 49, all of which support the indisputable conclusion that Muhammad was a devout Christian whose teachings were later corrupted. Uh even check this out. Avery. Ah. So we'll go ahead and grant, we'll go ahead and grant for the sake of argument that, mm. that, uh, Surah 4 verse 157. See, most Muslims believe that that's denying the crucifixion. Not all Muslims agree with that, but we can go ahead and grant for argument's sake. If so, then it would just be a corruption. Mm. Yep, More exactly. corruption. More corruption. Surah 3 verse 55. Behold, God said, O Jesus, I will take thee and raise thee to myself. Just so everyone knows, if you can look at, look up a non-Muslim translation of this, or even some Muslim translators who translate it honestly. I will take thee. That's mutawafika, and it means you, I'm going to cause you to die. Yep. So Allah actually says, O Jesus, I will cause you to die and raise you to myself. Death, mm. resurrection. Death, Absolutely. resurrection, ladies and gentlemen. Easy. I will take thee and raise thee to myself and clear thee of the falsehoods of those who blaspheme. I will make those who follow thee superior uh -oh. to those who reject faith to the day of resurrection. Uh oh. See anything? Uh, see anything that supports our case here, Avery? I mean, I, I think it's pretty clear and obvious that Muhammad was a devout Christian in Arabia, man. Press spreading the gospel taught that the Christians were the, the, the believers and the dominant ones in the eyes of Allah. And, and, you know, come on, he is a Christian spreading the message and solidifying our place in the world. Come on, come on, man. Isn't this amazing? I mean, guys, imagine, imagine me or Avery coming along right now and saying that, uh, that Muhammad's followers were promised, were guaranteed by Allah. Allah guaranteed Muhammad, I'm going to make your followers superior to those who reject Muhammad to the day of resurrection. Just imagine us saying that. How then could we reject those followers or say that their message was corrupted? It wouldn't make any sense. If we're saying that God Almighty, the all-powerful, almighty creator of the universe, guaranteed that he's going to make a certain group superior to the day of resurrection. Wow. It would make no sense to say, oh yeah, and then they were, it was all corrupted by this guy. But we're not saying that. That's what the Quran is saying about the followers of Jesus. Hey, hold on, hold on, David. Hold on. Uh -huh. We got somebody uh -huh. in the comment section named Omar who says, this is the dumbest stuff I've ever seen. Really, Omar? Shocker. Really? <laughs> really? It's dumb, huh? Wow, David. Wow. Huh. That's interesting. So oh. Omar, Omar, wait, you're saying Omar thinks it's really dumb and stupid to go to someone else's book and just pick and choose and cherry pick and say, you see, this is the proof. And we're going to anything that disagrees with us. We're going to say it's been corrupted. Oh, here you go. Mm. Here's Omar. There it's the dumbest is. stuff I've ever seen. Omar. <laughs> It's pretty rude to respond to all of Islamic apologetics like that, because yes. all we're doing is using your methodologies. That's it. Come on, Omar. All right. So what do we got here? Guys, notice, pay attention. H how, can, how can you unsee it once you see it? Allah says, Jesus, 
I'm taking you away, meaning I'm taking your life away from it, taking your soul out of you and causing you to die, and then raising you to myself. So death and resurrection. And then he says, I'm going to make those who follow you superior to those who reject faith to the day of resurrection. This is, this is God putting his stamp of approval on the followers of Jesus to the day of resurrection. That's Forever. a long time. Forever, man. And what so do the... a, So there's not a single point in time, David, where the followers of Jesus will be any less than uppermost and superior over disbelievers, heretics, uh, false pagans. prophets, and false pagans, people that try to come and undermine the religion. The followers of Jesus will remain on top for generations until Judgment Day. That's correct, right? Yep, that's exactly okay. what Allah says here. So Christianity is the religion of Allah and Muhammad. And think about how different this is. This is this is Allah speaking to Jesus. Allah is speaking to Jesus and says, "Don't worry, Jesus." Your followers are going to be divinely protected by me to the day of resurrection. What do Muslims today who are under the influence of the pagan paganism of Uthman, what do they say? Remember what they do. They keep reducing Allah, who in the verses we're looking at is all powerful in the original. And Uthman, the pagan, always, always, always converts Allah into a pay, a weak pagan deity. He's a weak pagan deity. So think about yeah. think about the impact that Uthman has had. According to this verse, Allah, the all-powerful one, promises to protect Jesus followers to the day of resurrection. No one's going to be able to stop him. He's Allah, he's all powerful. According to what almost every Muslim in the world tells us now, uh, Allah tried, but he couldn't, and the Apostle Paul came in a couple of years later and just completely overpowered Allah. Allah's this pathetic, weak little uh, pagan deity who sounds more like the genie from Aladdin than like the God of the Bible. Exactly. Pathetic, weak little little deity. And guys, here, keep in mind, I'm, 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 I'm totally, I'm totally, I'm totally serious on this. Allah says he's protecting the true followers of Jesus to the day of resurrection. He's making them superior to those who reject faith to the day of resurrection. And Muslims mm -hmm. say Allah really tried, but he was no match for the Apostle Paul. He was no match for the Apostle Paul. Hey, Avery, uh, I, yeah. I, I need everyone to look at us for this. Think about this. So according to what Muslims believe now, according to what Muslims tell us, Muhammad, he's 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 down here, and that he is the he's a he's a prophet of Allah. So Allah right. sends Muhammad, sends Muhammad, but Muhammad yeah. is he's a, he's a servant of Allah, right? So Muhammad's down here, and then above him, above him is Allah. Allah is the one who sent him, and then mm -hmm. according to what Muslims tell us, Allah he makes these big promises. Oh yeah, I'm going to protect those followers. I'm super strong. Be strong. And yet he's completely overpowered, manhandled, tossed around like a rag doll by the Muhammad. Apostle Paul. So Paul mm. the Apostle, Paul the Apostle, way more powerful than Allah and mm. obviously way more powerful than Muhammad. This Again, mm. guys, I'm just going with what Muslims today tell us in, to show you how pagan Islam has become in its thinking. So you've got Muhammad down here. He's a servant of the great God, Allah. The great God of Allah is completely overpowered and manhandled by the Apostle Paul. My Paul. And the Apostle Paul calls himself a mere bondservant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. So Muslims, via the transitive property, <laughs> remember the transitive property? <laughs> a is greater than B, and B is greater than C, then A is greater than C. Use the transitive property. Via the transitive property, Muslims, if Jesus is Lord of Paul, who overpowered Allah, who sent Muhammad, who should you be listening to on, the, <laughs> on, that, on that scale, right? Come on. Who should you be listening to here? Wow. Wow, I wow, wow. Why wow, would wow, choose wow. 
If I had to choose between 1.6 billion Allahs and one Paul, I would choose the Paul. Oh. You gotta drop it like Zachary Knight, man. Choose Paul. Guys, so this is, I mean, seriously, this is amazing stuff. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty clear. Let's take a couple super chats real quick. Yeah. Take a couple super chats, and then we're going to look at more, guys. We're going to look at more passages. We're going to see more. Guys, this is just, we're just scratching the surface right now. This is barely touching it now. Wait, you know what? I did want to go to one more verse just because it ties in with 355 and makes it even more powerful. So let's go to 6114. Ready? Mm. 6114, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me what you see here, Avery. O you who believe, O you who believe, be helpers in the cause of Allah. As Isa, son of Miriam, said to his disciples, who are my helpers in the cause of Allah? The disciples said, we are helpers in the cause of Allah. So mm. a party of the children of Israel believed and another party disbelieved. Then mm. we aided those who believed against their enemy and they became uppermost. Wow. What do we have here? How does this prove our case and completely destroy the corrupted version. Wow. Yeah, this is a uh, man. <clears throat> There's no way around this, guys. I mean, and and, and this confirms uh, this is confirmed by the Bible. You know, uh, Jesus sent out his disciples uh, to all the world and the, the disciples. They faced many opposition, Pharisees and things of this nature could not overcome them. Paul, who went against them, but ended up converting and becoming a Christian. You see, this shows that God truly did aid the followers of Jesus and is continuing to do so all the way up until now. What what sense would it make to say, ah, oh, no, Allah didn't do he didn't do it right? Ah, uh, yeah, Paul got got Allah on this one. No, no, it is the corrupted teaching of Uthman, the corrupted teaching of Uthman that tried to put Paul in a bad light and make Allah weak and making Paul stronger than him. That's the work of Uthman. Muslims wake up, man. Indeed. And isn't it just weird that, I mean, one of the signs that you're seeing the original uncorrupted Quran is that God is powerful. He's all powerful. Yeah. He's all knowing. He's all powerful. You can't stop him. You can't, you can't even be a slight hindrance to him. And it's just not what Muslims believe anymore because they've been, their, their beliefs have been corrupted by Uthman, who was a pagan and who turned Allah into a weak little pagan genie. So think about mm. this, guys. Allah sends Jesus. Jesus said to his disciples, who are my helpers in the cause of Allah? The disciples said, we are helpers in the cause of Allah. And then what happened? Then Allah aided Notice Allah says, uh, hey, wait a minute. You catch that? You catch that, Avery? Mm. So a party of the children of Israel believed and another party disbelieved. Then we wow. then <laughs> we aided those who believed against their enemy and they became uppermost. Who aided those true followers of Jesus until they became uppermost? God himself. We, plural, mm. plural Allah. Hmm, Allah is plural, mm. ladies and gentlemen. And this is, this is yet another example, because you see Allah referring to himself in the plural all over mm. the Quran, mm -hmm. all over the Quran. And Muslims will say this is simply the plural of majesty. This is their explanation. Mm. Well, Allah calls himself we just because it's the plural of majesty. But what are Muslims saying at that point? If Muslims are saying that Allah ref refers to himself in plural pronouns because it's more majestic, it's greater and more majestic to be plural, but they don't believe that Allah is actually plural. It's like Allah lying about himself to make him sound more, than, more than he <laughs> is. But what's, notice, what's the underlying assumption of Muslims? The underlying assumption of Muslims and of the Quran when it refers to, when Allah refers to himself as we, is that it is greater and more majestic to be plural. Well, Muslims, is Allah most majestic? 
if Allah is the most majestic of all beings, and it's more majestic to be plural than to be some sort of Unitarian monad, then <laughs> that would mean that the God of the Quran is actually the triune God of the Bible as well. Except go. in the parts that were corrupted by Uthman. Ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> ouch. <laughs> but here again, here again, here again, you have all these parts of the Quran where you see the uncorrupted version and it's Allah's all powerful. You can't stop Allah. No one can get in Allah's way. So a party of the children of Israel believed, another party disbelieved. Then Allah aided those who believed against their enemy and they became uppermost. Why? You can't stop Allah. If he's helping someone, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to stop them. You're not gonna be able to stop Allah. King Kong ain't got nothing on Allah. You can't stop. Nothing on him. That's right. And then what do Muslims <laughs> after Uthman corrupts it? What do they do? Oh, well, yeah. He said he was going to help the true followers of, of Jesus. Uh, but, but he just wasn't strong enough and he couldn't protect him. He couldn't protect <laughs> him. He's poor little Allah. He tried. I mean, he tried. He's just so weak and sad and pathetic. <laughs> This is amazing, and they don't get, and they don't get it. This is like legitimately disturbing. How their God is saying, "Ha, I'm strong. You can't stop me." And they're going, "Oh, you got stopped. You got everyone stopped you. You're just so weak and pathetic, little weakling. You're little weakling, little weakling." Oh man! Oh my goodness! <laughs> so, guys, Muslims, if you don't take away anything else from this, your God promised to aid the true followers of Jesus. He said he did it, and he said they did it until they became, he said he did it, he helped them until they became uppermost over those who rejected Jesus. Yeah. According to your story, this is a complete lie. According to your version, Muslims, uh, Jesus came and he won uh, some Muslim followers and they preached and then, oopsie, the Apostle Paul came in and corrupted it all and then it was never been the same. That's what Ouch. happened. This is a big, fat, stupid lie, according to you. You're calling your own God a weak, pathetic liar. And it's yeah. a bunch of, it's a couple of Christians who come over here and say, guys, you need to have a little more respect for your own God in your own book than you have. Because you insult, I mean, all you do is insult your own God in your own book. If I was Allah, I'd take that personally, David. Yeah, it's like they're, sml it's like, it's like you've got the entire Ummah and they're just constantly spitting in Allah's face and slapping him in the mm -hmm. face and saying, shut yeah. up, Allah, you don't know what you're talking about. You keep saying you did all this stuff, but you didn't because you're too weak. You're a pathetic little weakling who can't stand up to the Apostle Paul. Like, gosh, this is your religion? Wow. <laughs> this, is, this is wild stuff, man. Yeah, so I'll party. That part. <laughs> and what, what's amazing, guys, uh, if you're, uh, uh, if anyone has a copy of the Yusuf Ali, the Yusuf Ali, uh, translation that that includes the commentary look up yusuf ali's commentary on this verse 61 14 he says that when this verse says that allah helped the true followers of jesus until they became uppermost he says this refers to christians taking over the roman empire and becoming powerful <laughs> do the math ladies and gentlemen <laughs> no, that's a bar Allah yeah. helped the true followers of Jesus, and then He did it, and then they became Avery. Do we know what the Do we know what the the Christians who took over the Roman Empire believed? Oh yeah, they believed in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as three distinct persons united in one essence. They believed that Jesus was the divine Son of God who incarnated into flesh, who died for our sins according to His flesh, and rose again on the third day. They believe that the Holy Spirit enters the hearts of believers and regenerates them and brings them back to God and makes them alive again. These are the things that they taught. That's so what they that, believe, David. So, guys, again, when we talk about you, you, you Muslims sounding like you have gone from believing in the same God as the God of the Bible to a just total pagan deity. This is part of it. This is part. This is part of what we're talking about. So, yeah. according to what Muslims tell, Allah says He's going to help the true followers of Jesus until they become uppermost. He says He did it. He says He did. He already did it. It it, it is past. He says we aided the true those who believed against their enemy, and they became uppermost. So He says, guys, look back, look at history. I'm the one who helped the followers of Jesus become uppermost. All right. Based on what Muslims claim. The Christians who became uppermost 
their religion had already been corrupted. And Muslims will say, oh, you know, there, there must have been some secret hidden group of uh, Muslims that we no longer have records of. Okay, well, they didn't become uppermost, <laughs> right. did they? They didn't become uppermost, <laughs> did they? They lost. They got crushed. They got schooled. We have no record of them even existing. It's pathetic what you're saying. Oh, so what oh you're saying God. is Allah helped the wrong people. The Ebionites, the Ebionites, David. Yeah, he couldn't preserve them. He 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 helped the wrong people. So not only is Allah not all powerful, he's not all knowing. He's so stupid. Can you can you imagine? It's like you're running into a crowd. Oh, I got to go save so and so, and you pick the total wrong person. Uh. <laughs> Wild. That's what they're telling us. They got the wrong the wrong group. Allah's like, wrong oh, group, I, Allah. I see a bunch of people down there. I see a bunch of people down there. They're arguing about Jesus. Um. <laughs> Let me help these guys and make them the best. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. They believe in Jesus' death, resurrection, and deity. Oopsie. Oopsie poopsie. I got the wrong guys. Let me go ahead and brag that I helped the true followers, even though I got the wrong guys. Guys. Oh, my goodness. This is so pagan. This is such, this is such ridiculous pagan nonsense here. Wow, 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 wow. Guys, it's don't wrong, ever man. forget. Don't ever forget, Muslims. Your gut, because there's no, you have no coherent position. Once you believe in the pagan nonsense of Uthman, you have no coherent position. You're going to say, yes, Christianity was corrupted. Who corrupted it? Uh, Paul. Well, no, not according, not according to your actual belief system. Uh, Uthman, Uthman blames this on Allah. Allah is the one who tricks people into believing in Jesus' death and resurrection. Allah is the one who tricks people into believing in Jesus' deity. Allah corrupted all of it. So he's this horrible, malicious deceiver. Then he promises that he's going to protect the true followers of Jesus. Can't do it. He can't do it. He can't do it. Uh, and he, he says that he did it because he helped the wrong group, according to you guys. <laughs> and and you, you expect us to take this seriously? It's, it's, like, it's like one big slap in the face to God, the, Islam. Yeah. This is wild stuff. All right, let's take some super chats. We check out some more passages. Poor Allah. What's this? D. Wood goes 10 minutes off tangent explaining hijab, how, how hijab and Dawkins are birds snatching people away from the gospel. Mike Winger, nerd scholar. <laughs> Conclusion, Christians are nerds. That's ridiculous. <laughs> hey, you know what this is talking about? I made this awesome point about birds. No. Yeah, we did this in the live show. I'm going to make a video about it. No, no, you, you can just check out the video when I make it. I point out okay. that there is a there's a theory. It's not the it's not it's not the most uh, dominant uh, theory of uh, interpreting parables, but it is a theory. I've seen it in a number of places that symbols in one parable can carry over into another parable where those same symbols aren't explained there. And so I pointed out that in the parable of the mustard seed, where you have the uh, uh, you know, tiny little mustard seed grows into a tree to where the birds come and uh, rest in its branches, perch in its branches. If you just treat that as an isolated unit, it doesn't tell you what the birds are. Uh, the birds might represent nothing. It might just be another indication. It just might be a further uh, re further information on how big Christianity is going to get, but they don't have to represent anything particular. Then if you want to say they do represent something, since if you're just treating it as its own as an isolated uh, parable, you could say it represents all kinds of things. So some people have said this represents the, the Gentiles coming in to the kingdom. But I point out that if you act, if you believe that, you know, like something that is a symbol in one parable can carry over to another parable in the exact same context, so it's where you have the parable of the sower and the birds are there for the, serving the evil one to keep people from understanding the gospel. So later, again, later in the same chapter, these are the only parables we have the birds. So mm -hmm. birds are the ones who snatch away the gospel over here. And then if you go down to the parable of the mustard seed, then if if that carries over to where it's something negative, then you have the kingdom of God. It's going to start off really small. It's going to grow so big that even the opponents of the gospel are going to be living in it. And so mm -hmm. I pointed out, well, that that that's like Dawkins and Muhammad Hijab and all these guys. We want to live in Christian countries even though we're attacking Christianity. I it's see. like you, 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 Christianity has, has impacted the entire world. You're living within its branches and hating it yeah. the entire time. Yeah. And yeah, this, this, this horrible, awful person calls me a nerd for pointing out this powerful, powerful stuff. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's interesting, man. Uh, my two favorite Christians on the same live. Hey, glory to God. Everyone type justice for Aisha. <laughs> it would be funny. <laughs> Hashtag she was only nine, man. She was nine years old. <laughs> oh, other people are posting justice for Aisha. <laughs> Uh, Justice for Mar Mari Emmanuel. Yeah, I'm still not sure what went on there because you had a. I don't. I don't know the details yet. I'll have to find out more as time goes. I think yeah. it was like a. What was that? Have you seen the video? I watched the video, but yeah. like there's everyone. Like I and, and, until I have a reason to think that that's a. It, it, it's it's something that there would be Muslims who would be willing to do, but I wouldn't conclude that it was because you can have people who attack someone for other reasons or people who are just nuts or something like that. So yeah, all, all I'm saying is there, I haven't, I haven't looked into it yet. I saw the video yeah. of uh, that attack, but uh, yeah, have to wait. Video, have you seen the video of them uh, when they like caught him and hold, they're questioning him? You seen that? No. Okay. Yeah. Well, so it's, it's in that, it's in that clip where he's, they're at like, why, why did you do this? Why did you come and do this? And he's, and he says, uh, you know, if he wasn't, if he didn't insult my prophet, I wouldn't be here. Oh, if he didn't insult my religion, I wouldn't be here. Huh? And he's in a smile on his face. You have to check that out too. I was thinking, gosh, that that that's an Assyrian church, right? Uh, I, I think that was guys. Was that an Assyrian church? Because when I saw I, I saw Assyrian sharing it, I was like, I wouldn't. Man, that's a wrong place to run up to because those Assyrians will mess you up, man. Yeah, in fact, there actually has already been retaliation with the Assyrians. So, yeah, the, yeah, Syrians uh, go Assyrians go hard, ladies and gentlemen. This is not uh this is not your local uh non-denominational church there. Right. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> yeah, uh yeah, anyway. In other words, if I <laughs> if I decide, you know what, I'm gonna go attack a church. I ain't going to the, I ain't going to messing with the Assyrians. <laughs> ain't going man. To the Orthodox Church, man. I'll be walking down the street going, oh, oh, here's a church. Oh, Assyria. Yeah, no. Uh, let me go down here. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Uh, <clears throat> Stephen says, uh, sower and mustard seed parables represent uh, evil. Uh, jihadi becomes uh, green in paradise. Did Muhammad purposely make his parables to match with Bibles? uh evil side um yeah he did uh he did muhammad did copy lots of images and so on but it's you know it's just stuff that he hears from uh from jews and christians running around yeah that's why they called him the ear they called him the ear ladies and gentlemen mashallah uh guys please use some of the money i give you to help vocab out what what are you talking about where did a fundraiser for vocab vocab is about to get a totally tricked out tricked out computer awesome also, your thoughts on if Muhammad hate therapy, would there be or not be death cults? If Muhammad hates therapy, would there be or not be death cults? You understand that? Not really. I tried. It sounds yeah. like he might be saying, you know, if, if Muhammad... If Muhammad hated therapy or didn't hate therapy, would there be death cults? Would there be or not be death cults if he hated therapy? That's what I mean. I can interpret this in like nine different ways. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, Sid says, Mo's marriage with Khadija was performed by a Christian priest. He actually was some kind of Christian, but completely misunderstood the fundamentals like Trinity and ended up uh, creating uh, a heresy. And Muslims actually point out that... Uh, that uh, Waraka. This is according to the Muslim sources, so this is all post Uthman, so you can't even count this as not corrupted. But even if you take this story as having a, even from the or even from the corrupted Islamic understanding, they'll say, "Hey, uh, Waraka affirmed Muhammad as a prophet, but what was his message there at the beginning? It's hey, believe in God and believe in Jesus." Mm -hmm. If you heard that and you were a Christian, you say, "Wow, this guy sounds like a uh, this guy sounds like a." Uh, Sounds like he's getting some revelation here. If any actual Christian would have heard what Muhammad was saying later, no. I, I mean, according to the the standard narrative that Muslims give as far as what Muhammad was teaching. Fortunately, we know all that was corrupted. It was corrupted. We see some of the elements, some of the true elements, but uh, it's going to take a while to get Muslims to understand. Yeah. 
Hey, this one's about your buddy, a different Uthman. Ain't it funny that Uthman faked a hate crime and pridefully demanded that Christians acknowledge it, but is dead silent on the attack on Mar Mari? Hmm. And they're all going to be silent on it. Hey, what do you think about Uthman's fake hate crime? Uh, he owes me a showing of the stab wound. And even then, it, 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 it's absolutely amazing to me. Guys, this is the product of having, uh, having a bunch of followers who will mindlessly cheer for you no matter how obvious it is that you're lying. It convinces you you can say anything you want and you'll never be, uh, you'll never be called into question for this stuff. But it's one thing that Uthman faked a hate crime against himself. Now, to be fair, he could have been in an actual fight and could have been stabbed. That that all could be authentic. The picture that he showed with the blood, that was obviously fake blood. Uh, and it was, uh, we pointed out some of the problems way back in the day that um, you could see where the that that fake blood had been sprayed on him. That's not what a stab wound looks like. A stab wound actually seeps out into the clothes from within. I've seen plenty of stab wounds. Um, the blood leaks out and becomes a bigger and bigger spot and then and then works its way down by by gravity. Um, he, there were clearly little 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 flecks all over it where something had been sprayed on him. So may have been some sort of actual fight or stabbing or something like that added some fake blood to it when he saw the opportunity again assuming that there was a stabbing at all if he had just left it at that if he if he had just said oh guys you know I, i'm gonna attack and i'm gonna get this stitched up and that's all there's gonna be no one would have been able to prove that that guy was lying yeah but he said yo i went to the hospital and the police came and the police uh they they've got the knife and i filed a police report and they arrested the guy and the guy's been locked up and he's in prison now what did he just do? He just gave like 10 different things that people can actually go check. So people started yes. contacting the police department for the police report. Oh, no police report. Police have no clue what anyone's talking about. Start contacting the courts. What about this guy who's been locked up and convicted and sentenced to prison? No one has any clue about that guy. And and it's just amazing. If I were to do something like that, I would lose everyone who follows me. Everybody, when a, man. When a, Everybody. If, if Avery, if you were to do that, how many how many fans are going to keep supporting you? Not no, my my mom. Maybe my, my couple of my cousins. You know, <laughs> that's it. Ride or die. <laughs> ride or die, baby. Ride or die. <laughs> care what you do. <laughs> you the man, eh? I don't, I don't care if you axe murder a thousand people. Ride or die. <laughs> Dude, um, mom's sticking with me. She gonna watch every every ounce of my live stream after I get exposed. Like, yeah, that's... Mm. Yeah, so... Uh, it, people, it's just man. amazing. And then to top it up, and by the way, what's, what was amazing is uh, I was telling everyone behind the scenes, I was like, guys, you've got a narcissist, watch what happens. If you have mm -hmm. a narcissist, if you have a narcissist, watch, watch, watch what they'll do. If you have a narcissist, give them attention, 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 and then ignore him and watch him, watch him do something insane to get attention. <laughs> <laughs> he did exactly, but I wouldn't, I didn't know what, it, I didn't know what to expect. I knew he was going to do something and all of a sudden, oh, I've been stabbed. Where's David Wood and the apostate brother? Yeah. Look yeah, what's yeah, happened yeah. to me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that that was an original idea or maybe some people said, hey, all right, here's next. Here's what we got next. All right, numbers are a little low, not increasing. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, 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 you, what do you think maybe if you're well, theorizing? It, it, led up, it led up to that when uh, supposedly I was talking to him one day when they discover the note attached to the car. Hey, Sheikh oh, Uthman. Yeah. Sheikh Uthman, you will stop your powerful dawa. We <laughs> will not let you continue. <laughs> like, obviously fake. Um but so, yes, yeah, so he got a lot of attention for that. And then they post a video and you will not stop us. You will not stop us with your threats. You will not stop us. And then, oh, alhamdulillah, he's so brave. He's so brave. Uh, no, he knows he's got a bunch of morons for followers who will mindlessly believe everything. And what's the end result of that? I mean, think you do that. Your own people don't call you out. You obviously, obviously, obviously fake a hate crime against yourself and then completely lie about it to where this guy's sitting, this guy's rotten in prison right now. No one's ever heard of him. 
no prosecutors, courts, no one's ever heard of the guy. But, oh, we're, we'll just believe Sheikh Uthman because he's completely trustworthy. And then this guy goes out and commits adultery with his friend's, uh, friend's wife. Why? His followers have programmed him to understand no consequences for anything. As long as you are the Dawah guy, that's all that matters. You know, they, they attacked the other guy for, for calling Uthman out for taking his wife. They attacked yep. him, called him crazy, called him a hater, jealous, all this kind of stuff, regardless of the videos. You can literally hear Uthman divorcing the girl with a shake. He's divorcing her. Talak, talak, talak. Okay, it's finished. It's finished for life. Isn't, isn't that amazing, by the way? Like, hey, Sheikh Uthman, I really look up to you. Uh, I'm having some problems with my uh, convert, my, my white convert wife. Could you tell her to, uh, you know? Tell her to uh, smooth things over with me. Oh, no problem. Hey. No problem, bro. Yeah, send her over. Send her over. Oh, oh actually. Send her here, man. <laughs> yeah, I've been banging her now, and she doesn't want you anymore. She's with me now. But wait, she's still married to me. Don't care. Don't care. And oh, imagine, no, it, imagine if, if they actually, <laughs> if they actually proved it, if everyone put it together, like they, they bring out the marriage certificate for, for this guy marrying the woman and then show that Sheikh Uthman, and imagine you had video footage of Sheikh Uthman caught in the act. He could lie and his followers would not question him. They're too brainwashed and, and stupid. He could say, yeah. well, you're not going to believe this, ladies and gentlemen. I was heading out to do Dawah and I tripped and fell and I went right in there. <laughs> that's what happened they'll go oh you see it was all a, it was all an accident a misunderstanding alhamdulillah great shake <laughs> what is this religion oh. and guys it all goes back to pagan uthman if uthman can just decide here's what i'm going to make everyone believe no matter how insane and idiotic it is and here you got your dawah guys all these years later what do they know you've been programmed to ex to mindlessly accept any idiotic nonsense they feed you is what it is. Maybe see if Michael Lofton would want to chat sometime. He's ramping up his anti-Islam stuff since the recent attack. God bless, nerds. Uh, which recent attack? Been several recent uh, attacks. Uh, what happened to Muhammad Week? When's Muhammad Week? Oh, that's me. That's oh. me. I got sick this week, guys, but I'll continue it. Yeah. Patience, guys. Stop complaining. Maybe yeah. it's the 240p, uh, but AP looking different today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, guys. I got to figure this out with Ecamm. Like, I, I, I just came over from my stream. Everything looked was perfectly fine. And I don't know. I'm on Ecamm now. It's tripping. So I, I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, it's, uh, again, it's, uh, it's a rule. Like, if you... If resolution's low, but people can hear you, that's what matters. If it's reversed, then it's a crystal clear video quality, but can't hear what someone's saying. That's a total disaster. Yeah. Brothers in Christ, it is good to see this duo come together against the lies of Islam. God bless you both. Yeah, guys, we want we want everyone. There's a reason we're spending a whole live stream in it and that we're, we've got videos and stuff. We want people to use this. And the goal is keep using this argument everywhere you go. Hey, Muhammad is a Christian. Here's the proof. And Muslim's response, oh, but this verse of the Quran refutes it. No, 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 that was corrupted by Uthman. Prove that it wasn't. Prove that that wasn't corrupted by Uthman. That's the method that they use against us. Here's a Bible verse that supports Muhammad. We say, well, just read the next verse. No, 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 that's been corrupted. <laughs> and they, you could tell them a thousand times why that's insanely stupid. They will not get it until you actually show them. By the way, that's the same, that's the same, uh, it's the same method of when, uh, when Nathan was going to David and he doesn't come right out and says, here's what you did. He gets him to think that it's someone else and to condemn it. Right. Right. Once, right. It's good. It's the exact same thing. It's the exact same thing. Hey, there's this guy. Let me tell you what he did. David. Oh, that's messed up. That dude has to die. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah that's you. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> so same thing here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hey, here's our methodology. We're going to prove that. Oh, we condemn this methodology. This is evil. This is deception. This is lies. Great. That's because that's you. You're the ones. You're the ones who do this. We don't do this. We don't. We don't. We don't do this. We're just doing it to make fun of what you're doing. And somehow, when when we're doing it, then you can see how evil it is. Mm -hmm. Hey, what is this? Oh, these are from these are from earlier. Uh, God logic. You're blurry, my man. <laughs> we know that was earlier. 
Uh, how <laughs> is there a thousand people that haven't hit the like button? That is disturbing. That's a thousand weird. people haven't hit the like button. Do they? Why yeah. are they watching it if they don't like it? Uh, get Avery, get Avery to say his shahada for fast internet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, pray good. for Mar. Pray for Marmari and others stabbed by Muslim. Yep. Uh, AP, good to see you have some sun. <laughs> good to see you got some sun. <laughs> Seems to have made you a lot smarter all of a sudden. <laughs> Here is my humble jizzy brothers. God bless you. Yeah, AP does seem way smarter now. He's gone from he's gone from donkey brained atheist to sounding way smarter. That's what conversion. That's right. That's a true conversion does to you, ladies and gentlemen. Uppermost, maybe uppermost. Makes you smart, Christian, and black. <laughs> hey, hey, I bet if that actually worked, I bet if that actually worked like that, Sean King would uh, convert in a heartbeat. <laughs> you're, Yo, you're in, you're in, dude. You're really Ooh. one of us, Talcum. <laughs> oh man Uthman was the original right. apostate prophet he betrayed mm. Muhammad and slandered him as a pedo warlord when he was a devout choir director indeed <laughs> and then made him anti-music to destroy the beautiful the beautiful choir music that our good friend Richard Dawkins loves so much I can't stand this I can't <laughs> all right Andre says, I think that video can change the course of the history, David. Uh, return Quran to its pre-Uthman glory. Do you mind if I try to translate it and re-upload? Oh, you mean my video? Yeah. Andre, you can take any of my videos and translate them and re-upload. In fact, what I would encourage people to do if they have their own channels and you speak a different language, uh, take the transcript, translate it, Record the video in your own language, just yourself saying it. You do not need to give me credit. I do not care. Make the same video and uh, just make it in your own language. Agreed. Same with me. Same with me. It's God, God, logic. Shake wing a -ling. <laughs> The Quran is so poorly written, it pains me to read it. Yeah, that's, that's because it was, it was corrupted. It was, was way corrupted, better than the original. Man. Duh. Uh, a couple more here, and then we'll jump into a couple more passages. Alhamdulillah, Muhammad was a Christian man that Uthman was obviously jealous of. May Allah punish Uthman. Turns out Aisha was 79 and Uthman made up nine. <laughs> 79 would have been more age appropriate for Muhammad. Right. That's right. Indeed. Uh, Rick says, Satan, I mean Allah, is the best of deceivers. You can believe all the lies, I mean truth, of the Quran. Muslims sound so silly trying to justify the Bible verses because their fake book says it's true. Yeah, it's a, it's an amazing situation that their corrupt, their corrupt religion is now put in. So the original Quran agrees with the Bible. Original Quran agrees with the Bible 100%. Um, but then Uthman corrupted it, and then so, but they're still stuck with the verses in the Quran that say, go to the true gospel and go to the true followers of Jesus that Allah helped and made them uppermost. And Jesus is the word. Jesus is the Messiah. He's all these things. He lives the most miraculous life. They keep that in there because uh, it, it, it retained it. But because they have to diminish Allah and turn him into a pagan deity, then they're stuck with their book saying, go to our book, and their book no longer agrees with our book because it's been corrupted. Yeah. Yeah. Awkward. Awkward situation to be in. Uh, Keegan, Keegan says, glad you guys are clapping back at the Christ is Muslim. I am going to a mosque soon because my friends... Uh, from high school are Muslims and want to give it a chance, though I know not to trust. Is there a list of contradictions which I can reference? Do you mean for what we're doing or just like Quran contradictions in general? I think he means in general. Yeah, if you want to go to Quran. I just did a video. Uh, where was that? Whose channel was I on the other day? Jabril, give it to 
Whose channel was I just on? Come on, man. Guys, whose channel was I just on where we talked about Quran contradictions? Oh, that was Inspiring Philosophy. I was trying to think. Because I'm on a bunch of I'm, I'm on a bunch of uh, live streams here uh, in the very near future. Inspiring philosophy. He was talking about Muhammad Ajab running his mouth, talking about there's no Quran contradictions. I went, we, go to there, go to that, and I get, we go into pretty good detail on a few of them. Um, over on Reason Answers, Thaddeus and uh, Too Many Marys went into a ton of detail. They spent a they spent like hours going through one to make it completely escape proof. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'd go to those two, go to those two uh, streams. So Inspiring Philosophy's recent stream with me and AP and then uh, Thaddeus and Too Many Marys. Also go to the website Answering Islam, answeringislam.net. Go to the Quran section. There's a whole section on Quran, on, on Quran contradictions, a bunch of them. And pick out a couple that you like. I've been thinking about Avery. I've been thinking about making doing a live stream or a video called like Top Ten Quran Contradictions. So like, what would be the best? But it requires kind of like like seriously ranking them in terms of how strong are they, how obvious are they? Yeah, there there's a there's two there's two contradictions that I like. I use them all the time. I was actually going to do a video on uh, the two contradictions that you know are. Like there's no way around them, irrefutable. It's it's the clear and unclear versus contradiction, and then the mm. bear of burdens versus bear of burdens of those you misled contradiction. Mm -hmm. I, those I think are like the most like there's flat out literally opposite statements of each other. No way yeah. around them. Yeah. So guys, uh, what he's talking about there, you have all these verses. You have a bunch of verses in the Quran where it claims to be perfectly clear, and then all of a sudden you have, oh, it's not clear. When people actually started using the Quran against him, then suddenly it's not clear anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh what was the other one you mentioned? Uh the bear of burdens one. Oh yeah. No yeah. bear of burdens is another. Yeah. Yeah, that and one that they're... one that one contradicts itself in the space of two verses. So there yeah. you have Yeah, there you have uh Allah over and over again saying no bear of burden shall bear the burden of another. And you have other verses where yeah, you are going to bear the burden other people's burdens. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, there are a bunch like that. And probably my favorite one is it's it's actually a couple that are connected, but you've got the passage where it lists how things are created and it goes two days, four days, two days. So that's eight days. Mm -hmm. And then you go to other passages and it's a, uh, nope, Allah created everything, heavens and the earth in six days. Yeah. And so you could, and then when you try and when they try and reconcile that, then you have other passages where Allah creates the heavens first, then the earth and other passages where he creates the earth first, then the heavens. And it's like, you could pick any view you want and you find another passage that contradicts it. That's true. So wait, so what what do you do then with with that particular contradiction when they say, oh well, uh, it's it's like so for the two day four day one right that's in forty one chapter forty one verse nine and ten it says he created the earth in two days, then uh, the next verse says and you know gave it its sustenance and mountains and and waters in four days right so that's mm -hmm. six how mm -hmm. you would do that but their explanation is oh well no that's just in total how you know, him creating the earth, it's in total like what he did with um, creating the earth and then putting everything on it. That's a total of four days. It's not four additional days. Um, well, you could say that. It doesn't sound like that's what he what he's saying because he's he's creating right. he's creating the actual earth as a place to be. Then he starts like filling it up with stuff, creating its sustenance and so on. And he specifically says four days, but he could have said, you know, these are the next two days or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. it's two days, four days and two days. And then once you once you've got that laid out to where it's OK, if you want to say if you just go with the obvious meaning and you didn't have other verses saying that that uh, heavens and earth were created in six days, then you would just say, OK, two days, four days, two days. But the two days where he creates the entire rest of the universe is after the the uh, six days or letting them reinterpret it, the four days. And yeah. you, you just can't reckon you can't reconcile that. The, like yeah. even there, if you wanted to say heaven's created first, then you've got the idea that it was created like smoke. It's not organized yet. It's not organized yeah. yet. And then he organizes yeah. it after the, the six days or four days. And so that's when he organizes it. Mm -hmm. But that that contradicts that contradicts other passages of the Quran as well. It's he created the heavens and ordered it and then created the earth. There's there's point is there's no way around it. You can you could uh, tweak uh, some you could get some parts 
by a stretch of the imagination and by some gymnastics to fit together. And, but it still doesn't, you can't get everything. You can't get all these passages to fit together. It doesn't work. What's bad with that one too, is that Ibn Kathir talks about the smoke coming up uh, from the earth when it was created. So the smoke was not even in an actual heaven. Yeah. It, it, it's a result of Allah creating the earth and it just smoke raising up. So it's just, yeah, interesting. All right, all right, all right, all right, David, all right. Yeah, so Keegan, uh, yeah, pick a couple. And again, if you go to Answering Islam, they have a list of well over 100 Quran contradictions. I'd read through some of those and pick some that you like and uh, take some notes. Take some notes on on the ones you like best. Oh, man. Uh, Rochelle Punter, what you both know and feel about the Kashmir files. Yeah, I made a, I no I made a video on that a long time ago. I told what I thought. And a lot of that was based on a, a lot of that was based on a true story. And pretty brutal, messed up stuff. I went and saw it with my wife, and everyone. The theater was completely packed, and it was all it was us and a bunch of Indi a bunch of Indians. <laughs> wow. Uh, what y'all think about uh, Ralev Gadov, uh, Chalev, and Azadi? Yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Uh, Sura Al. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Hey, we need to start doing that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, because you have um <clears throat> you have uh you have Abu Musa in Sahih Muslim 2286 claiming that Muslims forgot two entire chapters of the Quran. So we can just we can say, hey, Surah al-Barnabas, that was Surah al-Barnabas, -Bar which is about Barnabas. And it was the original, it was in the original Quran. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they took, Uthman took it out. <laughs> Uthman took it out and pretended that people forgot it. Pretended, yeah. Um, all right, did you, did you plan on bringing Muslims up? Have you spoken with Muslims on this yet or no? Uh, no. Hey, any Muslims in a any Muslims in the chat want to uh, prove us wrong on any of this? Because we'd be happy to. I would love to see what you guys have to say on this, man. Muslims, I haven't. We, we are saying now, Muhammad was a devout Christian who believed in the Trinity, believed that Jesus died on the cross for sins, rose from the dead, and we can actually see remnants of this in the Quran. But your Quran was corrupted by Uthman, who was a pagan. And now, how do you argue? How do you argue against us? How do you prove us wrong? Yeah, prove us wrong. Prove us wrong. Uh, so, guys, uh, let me know in the chat if any Muslim wants to take up this challenge, and why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? If you want, if you want to believe that this is a good methodology, you'll have to show that this methodology can't be used to show that Muhammad was a devout Christian. Should be easy. Yeah. If the if this methodology can be used to prove that Muhammad was a Christian, you probably need a different methodology. In which case, you have to drop your entire methodology because this is all you do when it comes to Christianity. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's check out. Let's check out another couple verses here. By the way, David Wood, congratulations, man! You hit two hundred thousand. Oh, did I? Yeah. You hit oh, I'm, st I'm still, I'm still messing around, ladies and gentlemen. You'll know when I dial it up, ladies and gentlemen, when you see that skyrocket. <laughs> <laughs> so dope, man. Hey, check this out. Sort of five, verse forty-seven. You heard of this verse, Avery? Hmm. Yes, I have. One of my favorites. Now look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. What are Christians supposed to judge by? And keep in mind the context, just a few verses earlier, Surah 5, verse 43. Jews come to Muhammad to settle a dispute. Allah responds, why are they coming to you, Muhammad, when they have the Torah? They do not need you. Right. Then you get to 547. Let the, now we have Christians. Let the people of the gospel judge by what God hath revealed therein. If any do fail to judge by the light of what God hath revealed, they are no better than those who rebel. Avery, are you aware of the fact that the Quran over and over again, like a beating drum, confirms the inspiration and the preservation and the authority of the Torah and the gospel? As the sheikh of the original Quran only Christian fastest growing religion group, of course, David, I am aware with all of those verses. I have to be. 
So Absolutely. this is this ties into what we were saying earlier. Mm-hmm. That Allah makes all these claims, no one can change my words. He says it. Surah 6, verse 115, Surah 18, verse 27. Allah brags that no one, that no one can change his words. And what do Muslims say? Oh, pretty much everyone changed Allah's words. He's so weak and pathetic. (laughs) He's just so weak. Everyone came along. Yeah, the Christians did it. The Jews did it. And the Apostle Paul did it. The Council of Nicaea did it. Everyone, everyone corrupted. Everyone corrupted his messages. Allah, poor Allah. He's so weak and sad. (laughs) Yep. But this right here, this is one of the obvious, I mean, it's one of the clearest uh, remnants of the original Quran, wouldn't you say, David? Oh, yeah. I mean, think about this. I mean, you look at what the Quran says when it says that that Muhammad was basically sent to preach the message to the people of Arabia and Mecca, right? Mm -hmm. So the Quran says that Muhammad is the messenger to the Arabs and that he's sent to to defend the Torah in Arabic language. And so he's sent to defend the previous revelations. And Allah here is just bragging throughout the Quran, bragging no one can change his words. Everyone has to obey the revelation that was sent in their language and so on. And right here, he doesn't say, hey, people of the gospel, those are the keep in mind those are the people he aided until they became uppermost the people that he is protecting until the day of resurrection yeah and he says hey you guys have your book no one can so allah says no one can change his words we still have to judge by the gospel we don't judge by the quran we judge by the gospel jews right. judge by the torah that's the position of the quran what is every post uthmanic Muslims say, oh, your book's been corrupted. So Allah promised that he was going to protect the true followers of Jesus. Oopsie, he helped the wrong people until they became uppermost, so he's dumb. Uh, He brags that no one can change his words because he's so powerful. Muslims ruin that and say, oh, nope, his words were changed over and over and over again. Allah is so sad and weak and pathetic. Allah helps the wrong people. He's ignorant. And they're turning their entire religion system into complete paganism and then telling us to follow them down this road. Mm -hmm. No, we are not going to follow your pagan Allah. We will only, we will only follow the Allah of the Christian Quran, the uncorrupted version. That's right. That's right. That's right. Look at these verses. Ooh. Surah 5, verse 66, if only they had stood fast by the law, the gospel, and all the revelation that was sent to them from their Lord, they would have enjoyed happiness from every side. Hmm. So it's criticizing people for not following the Torah and the gospel. Mm -hmm. That's weird because every Muslim I run into says, don't follow the Torah and the gospel. They're corrupted. Allah says, oh, why couldn't, why didn't, why didn't the Jews and Christians uh, follow the Torah and the gospel more faithfully? Hmm. And so Muslims will look at that now and say, Oh, well, yeah, th- that, that was originally, they should have originally followed it. Instead, they corrupted it. Well, uh, okay, you got a problem here. Look at verse 68. This is what Muhammad was told to say to Jews and Christians in the 7th century. Avery, do we have copies of the Torah and the gospel from before the 7th century? Absolutely. So do before. we know? Do we know what this is what what books this is talking about? We know exactly what books it's talking about, man. <laughs> this is what we keep saying. Ladies and gentlemen, after Uthman corrupted your religion, he did not leave you a coherent way out. There is no way out. You have no way out. Tough. So look at what he says here. Say, Muhammad, O oh, people of the book, you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand fast by the Torah, the gospel, and all the revelation that has come to you from your Lord. It's the exact oh. opposite of what the Uthmanic, the Uthmanic pagan version of Islam says. Don't trust your books. Your books have been corrupted. What does Allah say in the true, in the true Quran, the original Quran? You have no ground to stand upon unless you stand upon the Torah and the gospel. 
That's right. Isn't this amazing? It's like, I mean, I've never seen a religion like this where because of their allegiance to their Dawa clowns, the Dawa clowns can tell them the exact opposite of what their God says. He can mm -hmm. say the exact opposite of what their God says, and they'll go with the Dawa guy. Yeah. They'll go with the Dawa guy in a heartbeat. If they have to choose, hey, Allah says this, Muhammad says this, but a Dawa guy says this, they go with a Dawa guy 100% of the time. Yeah. Even though Muhammad said, even though Muhammad said, if Allah says something and you go off and, and you follow someone else, you're actually worshiping that person. Wow. So these guys actually, according to Muhammad, these guys worship the Dawah guys. They worship the Dawah Gandis, man. They worship them. What a what a what a what a weird religion, man. Shirk. One hundred percent. The religion of shirk and paganism. And and then like, I mean, how clear can we make it that this must have been this must have been corrupted? So Muslims, your only options was this was always pagan nonsense and completely incoherent, or it had some authentic beginning and then was corrupted. Yeah. We're we're giving you the benefit of the of the doubt. We're giving Muhammad the benefit of the doubt because we don't want to we don't want to drag him through the mud like you guys do. Mm -hmm. Shark, shark, shark central, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Shark Central. Welcome to Shark Central. Shark Central. <laughs> we got to do some skits where that's like a place. <laughs> Muslims are all living in a place called Shark Central. <laughs> Oh, man. Take a few super chats here. You see, there were seventh century coins with the cross and Muhammad on it. So obviously he was a Christian. Yeah, we could actually use some of those uh, coins to make our case even stronger. Avery, I was just watching your channel. Please add 928 when uh, you refer to 929. 929 is a money grab because the income from pagans is going to Mecca was shut down according to 928. Hmm. Yeah. Yet For 920 sure. 929 does sound different when you include 928. So in 929 just looks like a, a call for the subjugation of the world, Jews and Christians. When you factor in 928, which is, oh, they're worried about how where they're going to get their money from because Muhammad's severing relations with the polytheists. And then the next verse is fight the Jews and Christians until they pay you. It looks like a big money making scheme. Mm hmm. Islam is a brilliant money-making scheme. Oh, yeah. Michael says, is there a connection between Hafs, uh, Ibn Suleiman, and Uthman for the current recitation of the Quran? Serious question. I need help correcting, connecting the dots. <clears throat> Not really. Not really, man. Uh, 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 Hafs gets his from, from Asim. So... You would have to go further back than that. But like Hops wasn't there when Uthman was doing his thing with the rewriting of the Quran and stuff like that. Um, Islam thrived by the sword and destroyed by Avery and David. Nah, That's right. The Quran was destroyed by itself when it was corrupted. We're just pointing it out. <clears throat> uh, what do we have here? So St. Paul would have destroyed Muhammad in a debate. Uh, a goat would have destroyed Muhammad in a debate, ladies and gentlemen. That's why he had to have pe people like killed for criticizing. Yep. Man. Uh, so we have Apostle Paul, a Paul stole for short. What we do, huh? Right. Muhammad was in the closet, according to Islam. This is why those are the fake fabricated Uthmanic Hadith. Mm -hmm. He made up those stories and the followers of Uthman corrupted the story of the true Muhammad, who was a Christian, uh, a holy man of God, preaching the gospel in Arabia. Uh, so yeah, all of that is fake. But yes, mm -hmm. according to Islam, if Islam is a fake religion. That, yes, that, that Muhammad, that fake Muhammad, definitely in the closet there. <clears throat> yeah. We are not fans. We're not fans of the fake Muhammad. Yeah. Uh, Muhammad and Allah are like. <laughs> How'd that go back to back? <laughs> <I don't know>. uh, <clears throat> a Muslim attacked Bishop Mar Mari Emmanuel in Sydney, Australia today during his services today. Just wanted to know if you heard about it. No, I haven't. Yeah. 
we did hear about that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we've mentioned it a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm waiting for some <clears throat> waiting for some uh, articles to come out about it before I check it out. Jesus is God the Son. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, true. Yep, even in the original uncorrupted Quran. Exactly. Greater evangelist, Billy Graham or Muhammad? Hmm. I uh, have to give it to Muhammad. I'll give it to Muhammad on that one. Yeah, he was great. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Uthman had to come in and, and ruin a lot of and derail a lot of Muhammad's work. Mm -hmm. As an ex-Muhammadan live in Turkey, believe me, this religion only brings despair and death. In 2023, the church of uh, Eskihir attacked twice. No one even notices this in the West. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the recurring themes on uh, when Robert and I do this week in jihad is i mean you could do a daily show on jihad jihadis killing christians in africa you could do daily programs just going mm -hmm. through that and no one ever notices mm. <clears throat> especially nigeria i think i think according to the recent statistics more christians are being killed for their faith in nigeria than in the rest of the world combined and no one pays any attention Muslims, I see you guys talking in the chat. You said this is the dumbest thing you ever heard. Show us how. Yeah, we're still waiting. My goodness, it's easy, right? Just show us. Show us how you would conclude that Muhammad is not a Christian. Muslims, yeah. in the chat, tell us how you would conclude that Muhammad was not a Christian. We're arguing that Muhammad was a Christian. Yeah, man. I want to see how I'm wrong. How is this the stupidest thing you've ever seen? I want to know. I don't want to be out here saying stupid things and spreading stupid things to people who will repeat blindly these stupid things i don't i don't want to do that nothing huh mm -mm. nothing d wood say alhamdulillah like ap please alhamdulillah i don't know i don't think that i hear him Heard about Marmari, Islamic terrorism happening all around. It's past time for people to wake up. Uh, would your Arabic name be Daoud Wood? Yeah, unless you translated the wood part too. I think that's a, uh, what is that guy? Is that Cheshub? I think it's, I think it's <laughs> Cheshub. I think it's wood, something like that. She was nine years old. Don't trust Uthman. <laughs> Off topic, but my friend thinks everything is God and that whatever you believe happens after death. How can I bring him to the light? Oh, it's one of those people who says, whatever you believe, that's what happens to you after death. So if you believe you get your virgins in paradise, then you get your virgins in paradise. If you believe you spend eternity on a cloud, then you'll get uh, eternity on the cloud. I mean, start start by questions like, where did you get that? How did you How did you come to that conclusion? What evidence do you have that made you think that anything that I want after death, I will get? Then start asking questions. Okay, if I believe that I spend eternity banging two-year-olds, will, will I get that? Is, it, is that, is that what will happen? Or if I if I get to spend eternity slaughtering everyone else who's spending eternity, is that, is that what happens? So you can go to some extreme examples. Exactly. Um, Allah is just playing a sick joke on Muslims. It does seem like that. That's the alternative. <laughs> Uh, you want to answer this, uh, Avery? What's your What's your take on predestination and determinism? You don't have to answer no. anything because some of these things are off topic. Yeah, I'm not. yeah, I don't. I don't actually have. I mean, I have a problem with the determinism that uh, would say I the kind of determinism that would say I don't have free will and so on. Um. Wait, Mari faked parts of the stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah isn't that funny that like what happened to mar mari that's what uthman wants everyone to think happened to him <clears throat> <laughs> that's that <clears throat> yeah sheikh uthman the love doctor <laughs> <laughs> send your wives to me <laughs> we gotta make some videos about I'll him. Get him right. i'll get him right <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> we should make a commercial for him. <laughs> Is your wife rebellious? Send her to me. Don't beat her. Send her to me. 
happen to me. I'll bang her. And, I mean, uh, get her. To, I'll convince her to. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, y'all are something else. Uh, Tarun said, I misspelled had. It's not, uh, it is had, not hate therapy. So ah, what was it okay. about? Did Muhammad have therapy? Yeah, he needed some yeah. therapy. He had some, I mean, the Muhammad we read about in the corrupt Uthmanic uh, scriptures, that dude needed some therapy. He mm -hmm. lost every close relationship he had before the age of eight. Every close relationship he had with any father figure or mother figure died by the time he was eight. And we know what that does to people psychologically. And it's exactly what you see throughout the rest of Muhammad's life. So he would have needed some, some, a ton of therapy. Thank you, Dizzle, you the man. Mm -hmm. That's true, that's true. Is it true that Muhammad and Allah were, <laughs> why people keep asking? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pair character Abe speaks says, always good to see my left and right shoulders defy Allah's commands together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Uh, bringing any Muslims up. Uh, God bless you both. We can't even get Muslims to defend Muhammad in the chat. Yeah. Guys, I'm, I'm, le I'm legitimately interested in how you would respond to this, because I don't see how you can't. In other words, if we take your method that you use and do the exact same thing to your religion with it, I I actually cannot even fathom how you could respond to it without rejecting the methodology, which would destroy your entire methodology. And yeah. so the real result would you'd have to you would have to say, yeah, we're going to use that method when we go to Christianity and, and the Bible and so on, because it's a good methodology that gets to the truth. But no, 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 don't use it over here because it will just get you to a lie. Like, wait a minute. Like, how, how are you seriously going to say that? How are you seriously going to say that? And that that would mean that you're, once again, complete hypocrites in how you yeah. approach things. They're saying that they need the link, I guess. What link? To join. I'm not giving some random... No, I, I see the problems over on Thaddeus' channel. People, like, instantly start posting porn and stuff like as soon as you bring them in. So, guys, I need to say... Got to be someone I uh, can trust. Guys, tell us in the chat right here. Tell us in the chat. Give us some answers. How yeah, How it, do you... I say Muhammad was a devout Trinitarian Christian. How do you respond? Prove me wrong. People are asking, how do they respond? Guys, there's a chat right here. Post it. Open a link. To what? To everyone? What are you talking about? No... Guys, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not letting some random person click in. Every time I see Thaddeus do that, they instantly go in and start putting a, a gay porn on the screen. Mm -hmm. So it's very simple, very simple. You've got the chat right there. Tell us, tell us. Oh, hang on, hang on. You got some? What? I, 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 it's at least someone who's trying to say something. I just want to show that there's no actual serious. Uh, serious response here. Where was it? Oh, here we go. Muhammad. Muhammad says, uh, our methodology is simple. Jesus and worship one God. Jesus didn't worship himself. Even Christians don't say he worshiped himself. Therefore, he is a Muslim. Guys. <laughs> what did we ask, guys? What did we ask? Hey, <laughs> we claim... We claim that Muhammad is a devout Trinitarian Christian, and we asked you to prove us wrong. And his response is, our methodology is simple. Jesus and worship one God. Jesus didn't worship himself. Even Christians don't say he worshiped himself. Therefore, he is a Muslim. So if someone doesn't worship himself, he's a Muslim. Just going with what you're saying. Someone doesn't worship himself. So if I don't worship myself, that makes me a Muslim. Hmm? Yeah. You just said it. That's your methodology. And notice, this does nothing to answer anything we're saying. Guys, can we get something who can actually answer any of this? Guys, by the way, this is, Avery, I don't know if you are, are familiar with this. This is what happens when I ask a simple question. Guys, think how simple this should be. We're <laughs> claiming that your prophet Muslims believed in the Trinity, believed that Jesus died on the cross for sins, rose from the dead. He preached Christianity to the Arabs of Arabia, 
and his teachings were later completely derailed by a pagan named Uthman. We're making a lot of claims right there. And we went through your sources to show exactly why we would conclude that sort of thing. And we ask you a simple question. How can you prove us wrong? What's your response? Our methodology is simple. Jesus and worship one God. What? What? Avery, this is what I get. Like, <laughs> nine times out of ten when I ask a question, I get something completely disconnected from anything else and just sounds like parroting some Dawa stuff and no actual ability to, to listen... Engage to engage, to listen to what someone is saying and respond yeah. to the actual claim. No ability. Yep. That weird? Can't make this up. I'm telling you guys, I told you, they're all the same person. They're all the same person. Happens with me, it happens here. It doesn't, it doesn't matter where. And it's not like- it's, it, Oh, look, look, your, your claim is irrelevant. He responded. What? Your claims are relevant, David. Your claim is irrelevant. We Muslims do not deny it. That's it. Um, okay, guys. So we have another response from Muhammad here. Your claim is irrelevant. We Muslims deny it. Oh, okay. You deny it. Yeah, we asked you for evidence. Show us that we're wrong. I said Jesus worshiped one God, and he didn't worship himself. You don't deny it. Therefore, he is a Muslim, period. Again, what, what did I say, Muhammad? According to what you just said, I'm just going with what you said. You said if someone doesn't worship himself, he's a Muslim. Okay, I don't worship myself, so I'm a Muslim according to you. Avery doesn't worship himself, so he's a Muslim. So we're Muslims. So how are you different from us if we're Muslims? We're all Muslims, right? We're all Muslims, man. I'm a Muslim, you're a Muslim, just like what uh what old boy said. So one so completely believers. Yeah, so completely incoherent and stupid response. All you're saying is so anyone who doesn't worship himself is a devout Muslim. Stupid, 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 insanely idiotic claim. Um, and it's even dumber, it's even dumber <laughs> when we point out that this is your response to a particular question about why we shouldn't conclude that Muhammad is a Trinitarian Christian who believed in Jesus, death, resurrection, and deity. That's a response to it. Guys, why is Islam like this? We know there are a bunch of Muslims in the chat. Why can't anyone give us a defense to show that we're wrong in our claims about Muhammad? And guys, what, what should you be concluding? You should notice this. We said what we I already posted a video. Avery's posted videos on this. We said we're going live. We said Muhammad is a Christian. Prove us wrong. It's in there. And so you it's not like you don't know what you need to say. If you can't, what does that mean? It means you guys really, when someone uses your own stupid methodology to completely destroy your religion, you have no response. The takeaway for everyone watching is, wow, these guys are sitting here giving them time to respond and not getting a response. What does that mean for you? Those of you who are watching, what does that mean for you when you're online, you're, in, you're on Twitter or something like that, you're talking to Muslim on Facebook, and you say, actually, Mus uh, Muhammad was a devout Christian. He was a devout Trinitarian Christian who believed Jesus died on the cross for sins and rose from the dead. Do you think you're going to get a response? What response are you going to get? Oh, something like Muhammad here. Your claim is irrelevant. We deny it. Duh. Is there somebody else, man? Anyone else here? And what's they're crazy they're is they're I know they're I know they're here. I've seen yeah. I've seen them posting random just random things. Hmm. But when we actually say, "Hey, now we're listening. We're listening here. Give us your response." We get nothing. Hey, look. Oh, no, we're getting another response here from Fareed. We can prove the Bible is corrupt with manuscripts. Can you do the same for the Quran? I think not. Uh, yeah. If what, what do you mean? If you mean textual variants, of course we can. Um, Dan Brubaker posted a video. There was 11 textual variants on one page of the Quran. It's on his channel. It's on his channel. Variant Quran. His channel's Variant Quran. Check it out. On one page. That's all you mean, that's when you say that people like Bart Ehrman support the claim that the Bible has been corrupted. That's all he's, that's all you're talking about is like he admits that there are textual variants, but any Christian can tell you that you can walk in any Christian bookstore and find books discussing sexual variants. You could go open up any study Bible and find in the text notes at the bottom. It tells you, it tells you, you guys have textual variants in your books too. Your leaders lie, spent years lying to you about it. They spent years lying to you about it. So you're actually shaming us because we're honest and your scholars, your Dawah guys are complete liars. But think about this. 
Fareed, did you did you miss this? So our our Bible's corrupt, right? Our Bible is corrupt. What did your God say? What did your God say? Let the people of the gospel judge by what God hath revealed therein. So your God is telling us to judge by a corrupt book? Mm. What did your God say here in Surah 5, verse 68? Say, O people of the book, you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand fast by the Torah and the gospel and all the revelation that has come to you from your Lord. What do you say? We can prove your Bible's corrupt with manuscripts. So our book's corrupt and your God tells us that's what that's what our our that's what our job is. Our job is to judge by a book that you say is corrupt. And Fareed, were you not listening when we pointed out, this is Surah 6, verse 115, Surah 18, verse 27, they say, obviously, clearly, that no one can change Allah's words, and you're sitting here, ah, your books that Allah has affirmed as the inspired, preserved, authoritative word of God have been corrupted, even though Allah says no one can change his words? Do you, how do you not get this? This is why I keep saying there is no coherent position. And this is what happens when your religion has been corrupted by a pagan. I don't know what to do here, Avery. Uh, don't give up, David. Don't give up. That's one. Isn't it um, amazing though? Like, like, like Avery. It was a simple. <laughs> it's a it simple is. request. It's a simple request. Yeah. We're saying Muhammad yeah. was a Trinitarian Christian. Prove us wrong. We can't get one word to prove us wrong. Nothing. They have nothing, <laughs> guys. This should clue you in. They cannot respond. They they have no response to this. And yeah, maybe, not... maybe we need to run with it for a long, long time. Yeah, I'm, 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 uh, I'm doing this topic on my next live. It's going to be this, and this will be the only topic. It'll be the only thing they are allowed to touch on, and we're going to have a good time with it. So, yeah, this will be the topic. Uh, uh, what is this for? Now, Fareed saying uh, your your or or textual variants are an extra olive. <laughs> Hang on, where is it? Oh no! Is this guy really this dumb? Oh no! Like this, he, Farid, are you calling from like fifteen years ago? Because you're using you're using claims <laughs> that came out well before the famous. The standard narrative has holes in it. Mm. Uh huh. Look what he says here. Our textual variants are an extra aleph. Your textual variants are extra verses. You even have that, uh, uh, Farid. Go to the sana. Go to the sana. Go to the sana palimpsest. Mm -hmm. You got problem. What are you talking about? You can literally see them erasing and write over, writing over the erasure in the sana manuscript. You um, literally see it, Farid. According to your own sources. Entire chapters of the Quran were lost. Your own sources. According to your own sources, Muhammad's own companions couldn't agree on which chapters were supposed to be in the Quran. Abdullah ibn Masud said there's supposed to be 111 chapters. Ubay ibn Kab said there's supposed to be 116. The Zayd ibn Thabit version that you have right now that goes back to the corruption of Uthman has 114. Couldn't even agree on which chapters are supposed to be in the Quran, according to your sources. Abu Musa says that two entire chapters were lost because Muslims were too lazy to recite them. According to Ubay ibn Kab, over 200 verses were lost from Surah 33. Why? Because the only people who had them memorized died in battle and Aisha's sheep ate the only copies. The entire reason for compiling the Quran into a book was because they lost so much of the Quran. Oh, but our book is perfect. And, and, and Farid, are you not getting this? Your book affirms our book. Your book says, hey, Jews and Christians, judge by your book. Judge by the Torah and the gospel. It's what you have. Oh, well, you touch so variants. It's, it's unreliable. Can't be trusted. Ha -ha. You're attacking what your God approves. How do you not get this? Your God says, hey, that book. See that book that the Jews and Christians have? That book is as good as gold. And you go, ha ha, stupid book. What are you saying then, Fareed? You're saying you have a stupid, idiot God. That's what you're telling us. And you don't get it. You just don't get it. You just insult. Maybe. I mean, we've been pointing out the entire this entire show what you guys are really saying about a lot. You're turning him into a pathetic, weak little, uh, lying, stupid deity, pagan deity, and all you're doing is affirming it. You're saying, "Yeah, that's right." Ha ha! He affirms your book that you that that was corrupted, and he doesn't know because he's too stupid. My goodness, man! What are your thoughts on this, Avery? Uh, you know, I, I think I'm done with Fareed. Um. Guys, it, it's super easy. I, I, it's not even an inconvenience. Just respond to David's claim here. 
just 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 he's 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 inviting you guys to to refute him. It should be easy, you know. Uh, like you know how easy it is to to. Ref oh, we got Muhammad again. Yep, not oh. uh, not helping himself, not helping himself. He says, read what I said carefully, dude. We read your comment. It doesn't. We can. It doesn't matter how carefully we read it, Muhammad. Muhammad, if I read your comment more carefully, am I going to see that that your prophet Muhammad was not a Trinitarian Christian, which is what we asked you? Like, it's Muhammad. It's it, it's like it's like I asked you, hey, what's what's two plus two? What's two plus two? And you go, the sky is blue. It's like what? It's not what I'm asking. What is two plus two? No, a grass is green. It's like you're not responding to anything. You're not responding to anything anyone's saying. Why should we believe? that your prophet was not a Trinitarian Christian. Why? It's it's similar to like, David, when Muslims say Jesus was a Muslim, we respond directly to that, don't we? Mm -hmm. We have a field day with that. It, it's, one of the, it's one of my favorite topics now. It used to be, you know, uh, Quran confirms the Bible, but now Jesus being a Muslim is my favorite topic to talk about. It, it's so fun. But we, it looks like we have a response, maybe trying to address literally the issue here now from Natsu uh, Satsujiniki. Um, Got to probably scroll up a little bit right, on, right under Fahim. But he says, Muhammad is said to have preached Allah is one. Logically, he was not a Christian that believed in the Trinity. Finally, finally someone addressing the issue here. Boom, it's over. And how good a response is that, Avery? That's trash. Oh, sorry, that, was, that came out a little too, too quick. That was garbage. Look, the Trinity, is that belief in three gods or one God, David? One God. Okay, so Muhammad preaching that Allah is one. Wait, is that, that agrees with us. Oh. Oh, wow. Hmm. Try again. Try again. So what do we have here? Um, guy, notice, guys, this should be easy. This should be easy. Do you have any? The real, the real test is, do you have any case that Muhammad is what you believed? When we use the same methodology you use. If the answer is no, then... What are you saying? You're saying if we use your methodology, you can't prove that Muhammad was 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 even a Muslim? What? Yeah. Is this a joke? Um, here we have Fahim in old. So this notice the request. Hey guys, can you prove that Muhammad was not a Trinitarian Christian? Response from Fahim: In Old Testament, pork is forbidden, but in New Testament, pork is not forbidden. Google it in front of everyone. Now, if you is true. Well, Fahim, couple things here. <laughs> couple things. One, you're right. You're right that the dietary restrictions change from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Even according to the Quran, even according mm -hmm. to the Quran, Jesus says that he came to change elements of the law. Right? So, but mm. if you think that's a problem, Fahim, your God and your prophet affirm the Torah. The Torah doesn't just forbid eating pork. It also forbids eating rabbit and camel, both of which are allowed in Islam. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, if the Quran affirms the inspiration and the preservation and the authority of the Torah, and if, as you claim, you cannot change things like dietary restrictions, and if Muhammad, according to your hadiths, Eight things that are forbidden in the Torah. What's that mean? It means your your records of Muhammad have been corrupted by Uthman. Mm -hmm. They're corrupted. Tough. Uh, are we getting anything else? I don't even know what to do, man. Uh, no, there's nothing here. There's nothing, nothing here. Yeah, we might have to we might have to keep rolling with this man we might have to keep uh just keep cranking out videos making memes showing people i mean we guys if anyone wants to have an actual debate on this you can pick some you can pick your favorite 
Uh, you could pick your favorite Dawa clown, and we'd love to. We would love to see you guys defend the claim that Muhammad was not a devout Christian. Love to see it. Don't think you can. Don't think you can. Based on based on what I'm seeing here, it's pretty indisputable that you can't. You can't do it. Yeah. This All right. Is, uh... I don't know what else to do, man. There's nothing. There's 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 no Muslims responding here. They're asking for links. We're not going to give you guys the link, guys. That's just not happening. Uh, yeah. What are you going to say? <laughs> oh, but Jesus wasn't worship himself. No. Why don't you answer the question? No, he wasn't worshiping himself. Oh! <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's it, man. That's it. But yeah, I, I'll tell you what. Um, I, I'm I'm going to do. We, we'll do a live stream. We'll do a live stream inviting Muslims up uh, on this topic. If you guys think that you guys can defend this and actually address the topic directly, we can do a live stream and have you guys come up and address it and refute us. Yeah, we I, will I have see. a way of uh, authenticating who's who and who's not. I don't know how it works on Ecamm, but I could do it on the stream yard. Yep. We'll zoom through these. Uh, funny how the Bible doesn't need the Quran at all, but the Quran on the other end, yeah, needs the Bible. Constantly depends on it. Yep. That's right. Uh, Ian says, have you ever thought about publishing a Bible commentary, David? No, not once in my entire life. Because there would be people who would be way better at that than me. When are you going to do another Boom Boom Room? <laughs> Actually, since Salman Rushdie just did an interview on 60 Minutes, this might be a good time to post the uh, Robert Spencer as Salman Rushdie episode. What are you guys' thoughts on Christians needing to keep the law after salvation, like food restrictions, etc.? Uh, doesn't sound like it's not the a, Bible. Oh yeah. Apart from the, I mean, apart from the bare basics in Acts 15, which seem to, I mean, it seems the real purpose of even those restrictions was not to cause division among Christians, uh, among the, uh, the, the, the Jewish believers. Um, yeah, it doesn't, I mean, you've got, you've got in the gospel of Mark by saying this, Jesus declared all foods clean. So, Yep. Uh, let's see. Momo was an Ethiopian Orthodox preacher. That's why the Hadith say he's white and Ethiopian raisin heads are the worst rulers. The corruption. <laughs> Love you guys. My leather straps have been opened. It's what we do. How come nobody <laughs> talks about the fact that the only religious group to ever commit genocide against Christians were the Muslims religion of peace? Hey, look, we got it, the apostate prophet with based. Hey. Uh, no, guys, let me know. Let me know if you see any more as, as we're uh, as we're just basically going through the uh, these uh, these last few super chats and so on. If you get any Muslim who actually responds, let me know because there's no response here. But we have a, a Muslim, Mister Whale, saying there's nothing to refute as far as I know. Christians basically uh, have tried to refute the Quran and we're never able to, even with the highest scholar. So he What's used his comment to say that. That's it. That's it, man. I'm so sorry. I mean, didn't we go through a ton of passages showing things that do not fit with what Muslims believe at all? Even something like Christians judged by the gospel does not fit with what Muslims believe. Uh, Surah 3 verse 55, where Allah takes away the life of Jesus does not fit with what Muslims believe. Jesus being the word of Allah makes no sense, given what Muslims believe. Uh, Jesus being the Messiah, none of this makes any sense for for what you believe, guys. Uh, you you are just proving a point about the excuse of the corruption, right? Because I'm still stuck on the revelation given to Muhammad was from the devil. Uh, no, uh, Tony. The, yeah, the point here is. Muslims have a method. They approach the Bible in a certain way. And you can tell them, everyone who's, if you're on the receiving end of this methodology, they're using it against you. It's obvious to you how stupid and insanely ridiculous it is. And it's obvious that it can be used to defend anything. I mean, again, if they go to the Bible and they just, oh, I'll cherry pick a verse that sort of agrees with Muhammad. I'll twist it into something about Muhammad. Then I'll ignore all the verses that completely refute this. Uh, this claim that come before it and after it. I'll ignore all that and say all those have been corrupted. Okay, you could you, you could use that method to defend anything. I could go to the Book of Mormon and prove that Buddha is a prophet using that methodology. Mm -hmm. So we see how stupid it is. They don't. So the only way to get them 
to see how stupid it is, is to use the exact same methodology towards them until they finally get it. This may be, it may take years, ladies and gentlemen. We may have to use this for years before that finally sinks in. But the result, the result, guys, notice this happens over and over again. They bring up a claim like perfect preservation of the Quran. We spend years, we spend years responding to that. They never seem to listen. It doesn't seem to do any good. All of a sudden, one day, the argument collapses. They argue scientific miracles in the Quran. We spend years responding. Doesn't look like they're listening. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, it, it collapses. This is how it works. You just have to keep relentlessly going after uh, their silly methodology until they abandon it. Uh, by the way, Avery, I'm just zooming through Super Chat. So if you have to go or anything, uh, I have. I'm hmm? chilling. Okay, you're chilling. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah. Uh, just getting in, did we talk about Bishop uh, Mar, Mar, Mar Emanuel getting stabbed by a Muslim? Yes, we did. Although, I mean, even though even though I've heard from everyone, as a Muslim, I still, I, I don't know, I still, I still got to, I just got to kind of, kind of see things for myself. So I'm waiting for some, uh, some good, uh, good articles come out. Uh, Godly mm -hmm. says, God bless both of you. Let's pray for Mari, but there's also some Muslims who want to come up. Come up to what? Let's pray for Mari, but there's also some, I, uh, it's probably the, uh, the link. Oh, okay. Why do Muslims keep yelling Admiral Akbar? Because it's a trap? Yes, that is. We got Chloe here. Kami China knows how to deal with Uyghur Muslims. Sydney, Australia needs to follow suit after these latest attacks. I much prefer Chinese in Australia. I don't know. I'm, I'm, there's not many situations where I'm going to side with a bunch of communists. And keep in mind, they're not going, the communists are not going after Muslims because they disagree with Muhammad being a prophet. They're going after Muslims because they're religious. Right. In communism, religion is is an obstacle. Religion is an obstacle. To. Religion is an obstacle to the flourishing, to the flourishing of the communist nation. And so you have to get rid of it. So keep in mind, if they're successful in going after Muslims, they're going after Christians, too. Pretty straightforward. And they they have been. It's, it's not a good place to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. A goat killed Muhammad at the dinner table, so I don't see why a debate table would be so different. That's a good point. Uh, David set up a link to bring them up. Uh, who? Bring who up? These guys? <laughs> That's the point. Yeah, yeah show, show us that there's someone who, who can formulate a coherent thought and respond to what we're actually saying. Here, then I might be something. interested. Here's something. It's not a Muslim, but uh, they, they're trying to help here. So they said, I'm a Christian, but uh, uh, they apparently need it. They need they apparently need help. Does Surah 930 mean Muhammad wasn't a Christian? That's what I would argue if I was a Muslim. Surah 930, where it says they take their uh, or that Jesus is not the son, right? That the Jews and the Christians, the Jews say yeah. Ezra is the son of Allah. Yeah. The Christians say that the Messiah is the son of Allah. Far uh -huh. they, that is a corrupted verse, guys. It has to be. It has to be. Or you're saying that Allah is an idiot. Mm -hmm. Right? Exactly. That whole thing is, it's it's a corrupted verse. That's the point. That They can't use that. That's, a, that's one of the verses that Uthman inserted into the Quran. Uh, and, uh, you know, we can see that as clear as day. All right. So, yeah. So, guys, again, this would be indisputable. So the response was Surah 9, verse 30 condemns Christians for believing that Jesus is the son of God. Yeah, certainly sounds like Surah 9, verse 30 does that. Surah 9, verse 30 also condemns Jews for worshiping Ezra as the son of God. Mm hmm. You ever heard, apart from this verse and Muhammad in the Hadith, ever calling Ezra the son of God? No, you haven't. We have no record that it's ever happened. What's that mm -hmm. mean? It means that either the Quran was originally, from its beginning, a deception that's, that's filled with lies, in which case we're, we're, we're much more generous than that. We mm -hmm. believe that the original Quran did not have the errors, did not have these errors. And so what would that mean? It would mean that verses like that, Surah 9, verse 30, were a later corruption. Who corrupted it? We know who did it. It's Uthman. Come on. Yeah. Has to be. Any verse that doesn't... Guys, 
What do what do your Muslim apologists do when they go to let's say John 14, 16 says, see, this is about Muhammad. And we say, why don't we just keep reading? And they go, no, 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 the rest of that's been corrupted. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, if you could just say all these verses that refute you have been corrupted, great. So could we. We can say that too. Surah 9 verse 30, total corruption. Obviously. Yep. Obviously. <laughs> When will Bart Ehrman's misquoting Muhammad be available for purchase? I don't know. That'd be a good one. <laughs> Nearly 3 a.m. in the UK. Glad to catch you all live. Yeah, it is. Uh, Surah 1526, created by clay, but Surah 2130, created by water. Which one is right? Oh, there's a bunch of them. You got created from dust, created from clay, created from mud. And then you have some that you could actually reconcile. See, like, like dust and clay doesn't seem you, you could really reconcile those dust is like dry and clay is uh not uh i mean unless it's already like hard and so on but the mud it specifically says mud um some of the other ones like blood clot and so on you can that you could reconcile that by uh um saying it's talking about different stages the water that one's a little trickier because it, it says uh, all living things are created from water in order to get around that, they have to argue that this is talking about the water of like a reproductive fluid, like semen. But even that doesn't fit because that, that's not how everything reproduces. So no coherent picture. The first Qiblas in the earliest mosques face towards Jerusalem and Petra. Does this support later corruption of Islam? That would fit with it. Yep. You could say that Muhammad uh, Muhammad uh, was drawing attention to uh, to Jerusalem, and this was understood early until uh, you know the corruption of Uthman spread. Mister Wales says uh, your own Christian scholars say the Bible was corrupted. Ha ha ha! ha. I guess that the Christian scholars are more powerful than Allah. Wouldn't that wouldn't that be the case, David? Yeah, and look what they do. Um, because you had, uh, who was it, Fareed earlier? And and he said, uh, oh, but, you know, uh, our, our variants are things like an extra olive. No, no, you have you have significant variants that even give you contradictions. But Fareed, that's most, most textual variants in the Bible are things like spelling differences. They're, they're insignificant. You would, you couldn't, they couldn't even be translated because mm-hmm. they, they, they're, they're so insignificant. So, um, and, and notice what they do. They'll take, oh, you have Christian scholars who acknowledge that there are textual variants in the Bible. And how do they how do they say it? They say, ah, these are Christian scholars acknowledging the corruption. That's not what we mean by corruption. We don't mean textual variants when we say corruption. You need you need corruption of doctrine for us of doctrine to for us to say that's corruption. If you if all you mean is textual variants, which is what what Christian scholars mean, if all you mean there are textual variants, great. Then then actual Muslim scholars will acknowledge there are textual variants in the, the manuscripts of the Quran. So take your pick. If that's what you mean when you say the Bible's been corrupted, then the Quran's been corrupted too. If you think that the Quran has these textual variants, but it's not corrupted, then stop saying it about the Bible. You cannot have it. You have no... Avery, have you noticed this? I mean, we were focused on one thing and showing they don't have a coherent methodology. And here they are on a completely different topic, and they still don't have a coherent methodology. We don't have a good mythology, man. Still. yeah, under, understand, guys, when you attack the Bible and we say, hey, you have a stupid methodology, you say there are textual variants, and you say, oh, that's corruption. Okay. And then we say, okay, you got the Quran and it's got textual variants, so that means corruption, right? No, it doesn't mean it's perfect, perfect, perfectly preserved. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> this is wild stuff, man. Um, why can't we get along? Allah, devil, Mo, Uthman, Antichrist, fit scripture. Uh, the real Muhammad was the praised one in Syro Aramaic scriptures. Have you checked with Dr. Uh, Jay and Al Fadi research on this topic? Yeah, I've heard some of that stuff. Audio link only for Muslims. Audio link only. Um, yeah, I'd have to worry about that. But again, who am I? Who am I putting on here? I haven't seen one person who can demonstrate. A, uh, I mean, the only person who demonstrated a coherent thought was someone who was trying to help them. <laughs> And you saw how long that lasted. You saw how long that objection lasted. It did not last. Muhammad 9W is all of our IQs drop. <laughs> That's what happens. And what, what's what's amazing, the most amazing part is when we say, hey guys, here's our challenge, and they can't even respond to the actual challenge with anything that makes sense or is coherent. 
in their minds, they're still the smart ones and they just refuted us. That's how it works. Someone named Islam claims to be a student of Shabir Ali and says we're running from him. Who? <laughs> he said, who? <laughs> Somebody named Islam. Somebody named Islam says they're running from me. They've been running for years. Uh, I'm a student of Shabir Ali. Yeah, isn't uh, uh, isn't that amazing when someone you've never heard, you find out you've been, because I, I hear this all the time. I, I find out that someone I've never heard of that I've been running from the person my entire life. Isn't that amazing? Is it? <laughs> hey, Islam, just so you know, when you come along, everyone's running from me. You sound like Nadir Ahmed, and that is not, uh, that, that's oh. absolutely pathetic. And when you come along, just so you know, when you come along and, and you're someone you, we've never heard of in our entire lives, and you say, they're running from me, you you are not presenting yourself as a, as a serious person. You sound like mm. a joke already from the get-go. Total joke. If you want to respond, give us a coherent response. We have argued that Muhammad was a devout Christian missionary or evangelist or even possibly prophet sent to the Arabs to preach Trinitarian Christianity. Prove us wrong. Give us something. And if you can't, then I wonder what you do with that. Your claim is irrelevant and dumb. <laughs> yeah, I don't uh, see. I don't see anything. Oh, go ahead. Uh, was watching trigonometry interview with Bassem Yusuf, but now on my way to the hospital because I decided it would be more enjoyable to slam my car door repeatedly on my testes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've seen people react more negatively. I haven't watched it, but I've seen people react more negatively to that than they did to uh, his earlier um, outings on Pierce Morgan. And I would guess, I would just guess before even looking that the trigonometry guys actually had more relevant uh, objections and questions for him and he, he wouldn't do well. But I noticed, uh, uh, I saw Robert share and then I saw one little clip where he was saying that Robert Spencer is uh, this neo-Nazi and stuff. Robert, uh, he made a bunch of complete factual blunders about Robert Spencer and Robert Spencer gave, is giving him an opportunity to respond. Uh, but that's wild stuff. Uh, how are Christians' manuscripts corrupted? Yeah, I'm not getting anything else in the comments, man. Nothing, uh, nothing, nothing. worth looking at. Uh, epic Gospel, Quran verses 355, 568, 1933. Yes, all of those. Very, very good. Uh, if I were to make a top 10 list, those would be probably on the top 10. Maybe ask Muslims who convince to come out. We can't get a single coherent response, ladies and gentlemen. Why can't we get along? Wish I see their faces getting 72 versions of Quran. 72. We need to start using that too. There are 72 versions of the Quran. Because you know how they do that? They'll say like, there are 70 different versions of the Bible. You're like, what are you talking about? They have no clue what they're talking about, right? I was like, yeah. what are you talking about? Do you mean translations? What are you even talking about? They just heard this from like someone in, in school and then they run around with it their, the rest of their lives. Yeah. So we can start saying 72 versions of the Quran. We can always do a play on virgins in paradise. Yeah. So, guys, that's another one we should start using. There are 72 versions of the Quran. Why so many Qurans? And when they say, uh, what do you mean? Go, oh, what do you guys mean when you say 70 versions of the Bible? <laughs> and we'll just say we, we mean the same thing. New topic. Prove Muhammad was a Muslim. Win $2,300. Yeah, that's what we should do. Hey, <laughs> hey, we should have a cash. We, sh we could have a cash bonus. Yeah. <laughs> that'll get since they don't care enough about their own profit to defend him. I, I, we have to do something. Maybe they care enough about money. Yeah. I could <laughs> I could actually believe that Muhammad was a Christian whose message got corrupted by Uthman. Yeah, and I yeah. say we have we actually have a stronger case, ladies and gentlemen, than they than they do when they try to argue that Jesus was a Muslim. We have a much stronger case because they don't have they don't have any first century documents about Muhammad. They have no idea. So you can say anything. When we when we talk about Jesus, we have first century sources. Allah does not worship himself in the Quran. Therefore, Allah is not God. Well, no, if he doesn't worship himself, then he is a Muslim. And we know that because he even recites the Shahada. Uh, Muslims go from one God to God can't take the form of man and enter creation if he wants to. 
Yeah, and it's just silly because in the Hadith, Allah lowers himself to the nearest heaven because he can't hear unless he gets really close to people. That's right. Which means he has like some physical ears that need to hear. And so what is their, what is their problem? Uh, Tech Dog, let me step in as a Christian and play some devil's advocate. It's unlikely that the Quran and all the Hadith were corrupted at once without any lingering sign of struggle or Mohammedan Christian influence. Unlikely that the Quran and all Hadith were corrupted at once without any lingering sign of struggle or Mohammedan Christian influence. So he's saying if there were... <laughs> Avery, uh, so he's saying, if there were, if there were this mass corruption, there would be some lingering sign. Huh. Is that right? Because I would say, I would say that we do have this. We do have such a thing. I'll say it's all over the, all over the Quran, the remnants. Right, let's go there. here. Oh. <laughs> Ask and ye shall receive. Sahil Bukhari. <laughs> Narrated Anas bin Malik, who Haifa bin al Yaman came to Uthman at a time when the people of Sham and the people of Iraq were waging war to conquer Armenia and Azerbaijan. Hud Haifa was afraid of there, the people of Sham and Iraq, differences in the recitation of the Quran. <gasps> you see, they were using different Qurans. Corruption mm. had started. Why? Because Uthman is already around. And keep in mind, guys, this, this is a... This hadith is from centuries after the time of Muhammad. This hadith is from centuries, two centuries after the time of Muhammad. So it's reflecting on things that supposedly happened earlier. In other words, this was this hadith itself was a long time after Uthman had already corrupted things. But you find the remnants. So what was he worried about? What was Sudhaifa worried about? Differences in the recitation of the Quran. Ouch, already. The first generation of Muslims had different Qurans. So I said to Uthman, O chief of the believers, save this nation before they differ about the book, the Quran, as Jews and Christians did before. Saying you have to save, you have to save us from these different readings of the Quran, these different versions of the Quran. Now we know, we know, as the true Quran only uh, Christians, we know that this was disagreements about people who were trying to corrupt the Christian teachings of the Quran. And then Uthman has to actually set, you know, set this thing in stone. So Uthman sent a message to Hafsa saying, send us the manuscripts of the Quran so that we may compile the Quranic materials in perfect copies and return the manuscripts to you. Why does Hafsa have a manuscript? Because so much of the Quran was lost early on that Abu Bakr had a copy made. Abu Bakr died past to Hafsa. Hafsa sent it to Uthman, sent the manuscript to Uthman. Uthman then ordered Zaid bin Thabit, Abdullah, blah, 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 uh, to rewrite the manuscript. See there, they're rewriting the manuscripts in perfect copies. Why does he have everyone hand over their copies? Uthman said to the three Qurayshi men, in case you disagree with Zaid bin Thabit on any point of the Quran, then write it in the dialect of the Quraysh. The Quran was revealed in their tongue. They did so. And when they had written many copies, Uthman returned the original manuscripts to Hafsa. Uthman sent to every Muslim province one copy of what they had copied and ordered that all the other Quranic materials, whether written in fragmentary manuscripts or whole copies, be burnt. They burned them. They burned them all. All these different versions of the Quran. And Uthman sends out one official, sends out his official, copies of his official version. So we know what this story is really about. Again, the story itself is a later, is a corruption. What actually happened is you have, you have the original Quran where Muhammad, Muhammad preached true Christianity, Trinitarian Christianity. But as Islam spread, they started encountering more and more pagans who start corrupting this message. And Uthman really wants to complete the task because he's a pagan. And so he orders everyone to hand over their stuff and has it all burned. Mm. And puts out the official new corrupt version. He's the political leader at this time. Who can stop him? So anyway, point being, point being, 
you do have, you do have evidence that these disputes are going on. And so when attack dog here was saying, it's unlikely that the Quran and all Hadith were corrupted at once without any lingering sign of struggle or Mohammedan Christian influence. You do have lingering signs of the struggle, but they rewrite even those to cover up what the real struggles were about. Struggle's yeah. real, folks. The struggle is real. <sighs> All right, hey, you also got these with, with Christian influence too. You got um, the hadith that talk about Maha, you know, Jesus being the word of Allah and His Spirit. That's Sahih Muslim one nine three e. So, got a bunch of that, man. Antichrist yep. talk and all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty easy to put this together. Much, much, much easier for us to put together a Christian Muhammad than it is to put together a Muslim Jesus, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, people more concerned with debating in the chat than wanting uh, God, Logic, and D. Wood debate. Are they here to learn or what? Looks like Muslims can't handle the challenge. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out how to, how, to, how to do this. And I mean, maybe actually find some Muslims who are w willing to debate this and defend Muhammad. I don't think they can. I really don't. When, when we use a methodology that simply says, oh, if it agrees with me, then it's good. If it doesn't, then I say it's corrupted. You can do that with anything. And we could mm -hmm. easily do that with the Quran. And that's why they're not answering, or when they're answering, they're giving stupid answers. Question. The the last Muslim that you had on here, uh, what, what's his name? The Etta one you Shem. have. I think Etta Shem yeah. was the last Muslim I had on. Yeah. Uh, does he use does he use this method, method as well? When he goes to the Bible? Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah, so, it'll yeah. Be, it'll be fun to see what he, what he would do with this. That's what I mean. I don't think they can. I don't mm -hmm. think they can. And, and I, I, I mean, I think I said it in the video or did I say in the video or elsewhere? I said, I'm totally willing to debate this. We're, uh, we're sitting here waiting for anyone to give a coherent, a coherent thought on this issue. They can't. Why is it? <laughs> Start to think that you don't have a coherent response. And that you are absolutely help, helpless when people use the exact methodology that you use. Mm -hmm. A couple more super chats. He was a murderer, child molester, and warmonger. There's your proof. <laughs> That'd be the proof. Uh, is that the same for Reed that said, how can it be rape if the parents consented? Uh, I don't know if that's the same for Reed. Wow. Other, pe other people can be named for Reed. Nearly 2,500 watching and no Muslim can defend their broken religion. Yeah, guys, that's why we use this argument, ladies and gentlemen. They keep using something. We try to explain why it's flawed. They don't listen. And so, okay, we're going to use it against you now. So we'll be doing this for a couple of years until they get the point. Uh, David, let me show you a picture of Jesus, please. He revealed himself to me and my sister when I was searching for the truth. How can I send? Um... Yeah, you can send it to my email. You can find that on answeringislam.net. We might have something. What? What do we got? Sawyer Shrake. Sawyer Shrake says, Surah 931 proves you wrong. We, we already did 930. If 930 is corrupted, why is he going to Surah 931? I would say that 931 actually proves that Muhammad was... A, a a a Christian. Yeah, some some have argued that, but go 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 ahead and respond, God logic. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, to, depending on how you take it, if you want to go to the Arabic without the diacritical marks, uh, it actually says, uh, you know, you know, they they take their rabbis and their monks as lords besides Allah and the Messiah, and Allah is it says after that that uh, God is just one God. Look at that. Two persons identified as Lord who are distinct from each other, and yet there's still one God. Sounds like uh, a Trinitarian to me. It looks like Muhammad agreed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you take it the other way and it's rejecting Jesus as Lord, then that's just, it's corrupted. Mm -hmm. so. Three gods bad, bad is Jew, Jew is stuff and things, more words angry, me hate things, Jews. She says, that's what I hear. Yeah, that's what I hear on Twitter all day, every day. <laughs> this is somehow, this is somehow the proof that it's all true. Uh, doggone it, Uthman thought of everything. Yes, he did. He was very smart.
evil and pagan, but smart. Hey, D. Wood, can you do a uh, the atheist experience style call-in show with vetted call? I mean, that's kind of what we, we used to do uh, on the Trinity channel and ABN. It was just um, almost every show was a live call-in show. Um, YouTube isn't taking my super chat where I quoted uh, Muslims quality. Please read my comments in the comments section. No matter what uh, changes I mic, YouTube isn't accepting my chat. Yeah, YouTube is kind of weird. YouTube is kind of weird in that it uh, it flags certain words and then blocks those based on those words. But it's it's person relative. Like I've seen I've seen situations where uh, if I try to post a super chat and it, it doesn't accept it, and then I have to kind of remove one word at a time to figure out which word is causing the problem. But then I'll see other people posting super chats using the exact same words. So uh, it's apparently uh, the algorithm is constantly checking you and deciding what you are and are not allowed to say. Wild stuff. Uh, Andre says, I can imagine hijab and the entire dawah shaking like the items that Shmuley's daughter sells. <laughs> David single-handedly destroys Islam. Yeah, trembling. <laughs> uh, whole surahs even, some Shias have 116 in total. I mean, Ubayim Kab had 116. That's that's not even a, that's not even counting the two uh, chapters that uh, Abu Musa said are missing. Ryan Gasling said, everyone is born Muslim. Muhammad, two, Muhammad is the best of true Islam. Three, Muhammad also practiced pedophilia. Four, all true Muslims practice pedophilia. Well, you do have a problem with Muhammad being the pattern of conduct for Muslims everywhere. Which version of the Quran is eternal? 72 versions. They're all eternal and they, they somehow complement each other. By the way, guys, that's another important point that, that you can use. Um, their response to the claim that they have different Qurans in different parts of the world, the uh, the different Qirat, which have different words and letters and so on, different meanings, some of which give contradictory meanings, that these are somehow all one Quran, they all complement each other. And then these same guys have a problem with the doctrine of the Trinity. Right? In other words, Hafs, Hafs Quran is not the Warsh. Warsh is not Hafs. Uh, the warsh Dury. is not the dory those, those are not the, those are not the same and yet they will say the hafs is the quran the warsh is the quran the dory is the quran and yet those three those three are not identical to each other so you could actually have the exact same as the classical like trinity diagram <laughs> and put to put qurans on there and they will say yes that's exactly what we're saying about the quran <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, did Noah's, oh, we have Quran country. Did Noah's family, did Noah's son drown? Hey, all of Noah's family survived, uh, be Noah's son drown. You have lots of those. Hippo character, oh, that's super sticker. Hey, Sawyer is a, he's a believer. Who? I thought so. The, the, the one who brought up 939 or 931. Yeah, of course. A, I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. because it was actually a coherent attempt to actually respond to what we were saying. You know, that wasn't going to be a, yeah. a devout follower of Muhammad yeah. here. Not a single Muslim has actually addressed the. It has. It had to be Christians. Christians have had have tried three times to address our, the point for you, Muslims. Step up, man. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Tarun here says Ralph Galaf Chal. Yeah, I remember that that being recited in the in the Kashmir files. Uh, he started yelling it at the end to make a point. Uh, Eddie Cruz. Uh, Muhammad was illiterate. This let people corrupt his original teachings he would not have been stupid enough to believe that trinity included mary yeah so you can say that. that that's another example um so you can say what you could say is either that verse does go back to muhammad because he was responding to a heretical view of the trinity and rejecting that or you can say that it's just clearly it's clearly added later because no one will be that stupid about the trinity <laughs> either way fits perfectly with what we're saying <clears throat> And one raindrop plus one raindrop plus one raindrop equals one raindrop. Analogy for the Trinity. Um, is there any? Does anyone else actually want to respond? If not, we're just going to close out. Actually, I'm kind. Guys, I do not have a a, a high regard for Dawa. It's like to me, it's like all deception. 
that is meant to be spread in an atmosphere of ignorance to people who have no clue what anyone's talking about and who do not understand basic facts or logic. That's what Dawa seems like to me. But I have to I have to say, even though I have an extremely low view of Dawa, this is this is beneath even what I thought. I thought I would actually get something remotely resembling a serious response. In the chat? Yeah, why not? I mean, one piece of evidence. I mean, the chat is fine for saying, here's something that goes against your theory. The only the only things that were even close to disagreeing with our theory were comments by people who were trying to help the Muslims because they were so right. embarrassed. They were so embarrassed for these guys not being able to put together a coherent thought. Right, 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 right. Don't know what to do. And then you've got Muhammad 9W. He keeps spamming the, the same thing over and over again. Oh, Gus Fring fixing Tyre. Gosh, do you have any clue how dumb you sound? Muhammad, go get your imam. Your imam. Go get your imam. Please. Go get your favorite Dawa guy to answer the objection that Muhammad was a devout Christian. Prove us wrong. You have not said one word that even qualifies as a weak response to what we've said. Yeah. Don't know what to do, man. Don't know what to do. Well, guys, if you thought you were going to come on here and uh, get some responses to a simple argument from Muslims, you thought wrong. You thought wrong. You thought really, really wrong. You're not going to get anything. But guys, again, this should this should clue you in that they have a they have a serious problem when their own methodology is flipped back on them they can't they they don't know how to respond because you can't if the same methodology can be used against their position then the only way to respond is by attacking the methodology which destroys their methodology got it guys got it you can always do yeah. this you, you can always do this in other words if they come to the bible and they say hey this verse is about muhammad and you say well read the verse after that and say oh no that one's been corrupted do the exact same thing. Go right to the Quran, find a verse that you agree with. Say, hey, I agree with this. See, this supports me. This supports Christianity. And they say, no, what about the next verse? They say, no, 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 that, that's been corrupted. Until they get the point about how stupid it is. All right, man. Two more super chats and we'll be out of here. This is Waraka. Waraka, who was a Christian, Waraka, who was a Christian woman, was the first person to convince Muhammad he was the prophet of God. So the argument could be he's Christian because he got his inspiration from a Christian woman. I don't know if you're joking, but Waraka was a was a dude. Had to be joke. Yeah, might be a joke. Uh, but yeah, same thing. So Muhammad was uh, a Christian. He was being preached to by a Christian, and he was a Christian. And how can you prove it's wrong? You can't. Sorry, it doesn't work. Uh, I enjoy watching your videos and learning a lot. Please pray for play, for Hope One Apologist Rays from India. Yeah, you do. Get, I mean, you got you got some uh, you got some pretty uh, pretty cool apologists in India. Uh, where is Allah right now? Is he in creation or not? If he is in creation, then why can't he come to Earth? Depends on what time of the night it is. Yeah, but it's always time in the night somewhere. So yeah, he has to keep kind of like darting back and forth, like like really, really fast. So yeah. So John, what you can say is, is Allah in creation right now? Yes. Oh, now no. Oh, yes, now. No, no. Yeah. Yes. Now no. Right? He's darting back and forth between uh between uh his throne and creation. So he's constantly on the move. He has to get really close. He listens real quick. He gets a good listen, then he heads back. Hmm. They don't see a problem with this. Uh, I have just joined. Have you seen the Marmari attack? Yep. And I'm sure I'll probably do something with uh, with uh, AP as more news comes out on that. And finally, you're wrong. Muhammad was actually a polytheist since he bowed down to the three daughters of Allah and kissed the Kaaba after the polytheist. Um, yeah, we're going to have to conclude since Muhammad is a devout Christian, he would not have done all these polytheistic things that are part of the Muslim sources say about them. We can only assume that these were attempts of Uthman to downplay Muhammad's role and significance by, and to encourage more paganism by convincing other people to support the paganism with, you know, the black stone and so on. So this fits in perfectly with our theory that Islam was usurped by a pagan usurper who corrupted the true teachings 
the, the only alternative Muslims is that, no, Muhammad was always this pagan weirdo. Hmm. Take your pick. Hey, Avery. Hey. If we're pointing out all this weird pagan nonsense and all this weird stuff that doesn't fit together, arguing that Muhammad, uh, I mean, arguing that Allah is all powerful and then showing that he's not arguing that Allah is all knowing and then calling him completely ignorant. When Muslims say, no, all this stuff goes back to Muhammad, all this weird pagan nonsense goes back to Muhammad. That's an insult towards Muhammad. They're calling Muhammad a, a pagan who was influenced a bit by Christianity and Judaism enough that you have some elements of their other net, but he's just a, he's a pagan at heart. That's why he's running around smooching, yes. a, smooching a black stone and so on. So can we yeah. say indisputably that since we are arguing that Muhammad was a devout Christian who would have never compromised with this pagan nonsense and that all of this was corrupted later on, can we say that we actually love and respect Muhammad more than Muslims do? Absolutely, 100%. 100%. The way that they try to flip it and say they love Jesus more than Christians do, that they follow Jesus more than Christians do, actually it's the opposite. We, with this argument, guys, are showing them more love and respect for Muhammad because we are releasing him from the pagan ideologies that they give him. We are releasing him from the stupidity, the gullibleness, the ignorance as a jahil that the Muslims apply to Muhammad. We're saying, no, he was better than that. No, he actually was protected by God. No, uh, he was led by the spirit and truth. His message just got corrupted. And his story got corrupted. That's all. So, yeah. Well, you heard it here, folks. Muhammad... We respect the true Muhammad who preached Christianity. His teachings were later corrupted by an evil pagan. And we are here to return Muhammad's followers to true belief in the true Muhammad who preached Christianity and to free him from the corruption of later pagans. What else can we say but you're welcome? We're rescuing true faith in Muhammad from this imposter version that people have been believing in. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, guys. Uh, let's see one more super chat here. Uh, I'm looking for the recitation of the 10 suckle and then abrogated to five verses, eight by the goat, that the only thing they didn't memorize. No, keep in mind, those uh, the breastfeeding adults verses, those were in Surah 33. Those were in Surah 33. That's where you had over 200 verses missing, according to Abayi ibn Kab, because the only people had them who had them memorized died in battle, and they lost a bunch of the Quran. And so, um, yeah, and by the way, you can go to sunnah.com and just pull up the uh, you know, 10 sucklings and so on. You get, you get a ton of the verses on there. You get a ton of the passages on there. So, uh, and a little side note, just as we close out, for everyone who uh, doesn't know what this is about, once upon a time, and this is this is further proof. This is further proof that this is this is a later corruption. According to the story that we read in the hadith, it's not in the Quran. According to the stories that we read in the hadith, people were concerned. Hey, I have to go away, and my wife is around this guy who's this young stud. He he works in our house. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Muhammad took this to Allah, and Muhammad said, "Well." For those of you who are worried about your wives being around other guys while you're away, don't worry. Just have your wife breastfeed the guy, put those juicy boobies right in the guy's face and in his mouth 10 times, this many times, 10 times. And then after that grown man sucks on your wife's breasts repeatedly over and over again, then you don't have to worry about leaving them alone together because they're not going to be sexually attracted to each other after he sucks on her boobs a bunch of times. That, according to the Hadith, was, a, was revealed as part of the Quran. Then people complain later it got abrogated to just five times. Okay, that hot young stud who's around your wife while you're out of town, uh, just have your wife stick her big round boobs in that guy's face and mouth five times. And then he'll feel like her son and you won't have to worry about them uh, hooking up while you're gone. 
And Muhammad died in, in, uh, in Sunan Ibn Majah in 1944. Muhammad died. And Aisha, Muhammad's wife, says, oh, we're all preoccupied. And a sheep came in and ate those verses. True story, according to the Muslim sources. But we would believe that this is all later fabricated nonsense in order to discredit Muhammad by a total pagan. Yep. And so we, once again, have more respect for Muhammad than Muslims do. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Isn't it wild when the people who respect and defend Muhammad most against corruption and paganism are Christians? Wow. No surprise to me. It's a fact, guys. We love Muhammad more than you do. We're the salt of the earth, the light you of the love, world. You love the corruption. We love the we love the true Muhammad. That's All right, right. Uh, Avery, tell everyone what you got coming up, and we'll close out. Um, so got a video coming up tomorrow. Uh, I was at Berkeley, had a conversation with Jehovah's Witness, and that conversation was absolutely fun. He was uh, very charismatic, and uh, you know, it was a good it was a good dialogue. So actually, the best one I've ever had with a Jehovah's Witness. So that'll be uploaded tomorrow. Um, also, you know, regular screen, uh, stream schedule Wednesday, um, around 5 PM Eastern standard time Thursday, David, will be on my channel. We'll be going over the Ali Dawa discussion that I had with him. Yeah. How'd that go? And I haven't seen any of it yet. How'd that go? He, he, he was actually very respectful. Huh. Like he actually stopped them from kind of not letting me talk at all. Obviously they dominated the conversation because, you know, it's three of them, uh -huh. but yeah, they, uh, you know, you know, it's cool. It was cool. Okay, so guys, yeah, Ali Dawa doesn't interact with people much. I mean, he had his uh, debate with the apostate prophet in which he's sitting there, you know, being fed grapes by smiles to Jenna. Mm. You know what we're talking about, Avery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so Ali Dawa is supposedly in a debate and he's got smiles to Jenna, another male Muslim. And Ali Dawa is sitting there like this, gobbling up grapes as this guy like lowers them in his mouth and... So anyway, these guys like clearly, clearly have some weird fetishes where yeah. smiles to Jenna's like, Ali Dawa, I've had a fantasy for a long time. I want to be feeding you grapes. I want to be dropping grapes into your mouth uh, as you're live and talking to a, to the Kufar. And Ali Dawa's like, oh, yeah, that'd be, that's a great idea, yo, because that then I'll be gobbling up the grapes so you could grate me. You could grate me during the show and they'll be so strong and manly and it'd be impressed with my Dawa. Somehow this mm -hmm. made sense to them. <laughs> These guys have some... Uh, guys, uh, you you think I'm joking? <laughs> I find that You're legitimately serious. weird, like some sort of weird fetish stuff about someone yeah, who serious. wants to be fed grapes by a man during a live stream. Like, that is the weirdest thing mm -hmm. ever in history. Um, Wait, is that another... Oh, that was another super chat. Okay. Um... Kosher says, uh, two questions. If Allah enters his creation is night at night, would not everyone mostly be asleep? Be if the Quran no, Muslims have the Muslims have uh, some late prayers. Um B, if the Quran was given to Muhammad, was given the Quran in full. If the Quran was given to Muhammad, was given the Quran in full, how can verses be added to it? Well, the Quran wasn't given to Muhammad. Um in full, you had pieces of the Quran revealed over a period of 23 years. And that was later corrupted by Uthman. Mm -hmm. And not only that, those those Qurans, you know, they, they used to have them written down with different disciples of Muhammad, right? Different students of Muhammad and, and companions. And Uthman being the leader that he was, ordered that everyone turn them in. Uh, actually, Ibn Masood was also a good Christian as well, who refused to turn his in and got beat up for it to a bloody pope. Um, and he got uh, persecuted. So Uthman was the big bad, had everybody turn in their manuscripts of the Quran, rewrote his own and threw away and burned the rest as David showed earlier. So, and yeah. Avery. As we close out, can you can you imagine if we had something in the history, the early history of Christianity, oh, where the Apostle Paul ordered all Christians to hand over their manuscripts of the books of the Bible, and he puts out an official one and burns everything else, 
mm-hmm. would they or would they not be shouting that from the rooftops oh. day and night as proof, indisputable proof of the corruption of the Bible? Yep, absolutely. We would never hear the end of it. It would be used in every debate, every talking point. It would be it would it would be their leading point to raise against Bible corruption. It would be the leading one. See? It'd be, it'd See be, look. Be complete it would be the conclusive proof, the case cracker. And yet we don't have anything like that. In fact, it would be impossible for Christians to corrupt the Bible because those books originally circulated as separate books and they spread so far, so fast on multiple continents that by the time you had any sort of Christian authority who could conceivably try to corrupt things, you couldn't. In other words, if someone in the Middle East decides, I'm going to corrupt the Bible, that doesn't corrupt the copies in, in Northern Africa, that doesn't, co- that doesn't corrupt the copies in Europe. You didn't have a Christian who was ever in a position to, to universally corrupt any manuscripts. You couldn't do it. It's, it, was, it was impossible. But yeah. you did have that ability in Islam. There was a time when a Muslim leader had the ability to say, everyone hand over your Qurans, and I'm going to put out the one I want you to believe. You did have that in Islam. If we had that in Christianity, you would say it's clear proof of the corruption. We don't have it. You have it. What do you say? It's no proof of anything at all. Why? Why are you hypocrites? Why? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? And what does this tell us about your religion, which causes you to be like this? Hmm. Seems to me proof that it's been corrupted. Yep. Irrefutable. Uh, the next Zucker Nike says there's some Muslims in the Discord I'm discussing the topic with. Good. Keep using this. This would be a good argument for you to use. And what could have caused anti-black racism in Muhammad? Uh, a number of things. Human beings do not need human beings do not need lots of causes to be racist. Com- comes pretty natural to lots of lots of people. So, all right, everyone. So again, I'll be, uh, as Avery just pointed out, um, he'll be, uh, he's got his video tomorrow on, you said tomorrow, right? For the Jehovah's Witnesses video. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then he'll be live Wednesday and then we'll be live again on his channel on Thursday, going through some of the powerful, powerful Dawa of Ali Dawa. And maybe we'll, maybe we'll see some ways that Ali Dawa his brilliant Dawa actually uh, refutes some of what we said today. Mm-hmm. I'll believe it when I see it. All yeah. right, everyone. Guys, and totally serious here, totally serious here. Uh, check out the stuff that Avery puts out on this issue about the uh, true Quran only, uh, true Quran only Christians. Check out my video. I will, we will, we will over time figure out what Muslims can, how Muslims can actually respond. We'll make, we'll make, uh, we'll make responses to those, to those claims. Mm-hmm. And That's we'll show right. you, we will show you how to respond to Muslims using the exact same methodology that they use. And we need enough people doing it long enough to get the point across to where they stop using the same stupid argument over and over and over again. Yep, exactly. All uh, right. Catch you all next time. Oh, and me, I will be on Cameron's channel tomorrow, I think. Cameron Bertuzzi's channel. Um. I think I'm on with Cameron tomorrow and we'll be on there with a physicist who's going to break down the fine tuning argument and I will tell him why he's wrong. Oh, wow. Interesting. We'll see what happens. All right, everyone. Capturing Christianity tomorrow. Catch y'all later.